Hello everybody, welcome back to Rulebook Rundown. It's been a while since the last video, but today Blunder and I are back with some dead some dead <laughs> cells. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> dead cells roguelite board game. Uh it's co-op dead cells. It's not as similar to the video game as like Slay the Spire is, but it's still pretty cool. So it is Blunder's first time doing it. I've done a few solo games and uh like a couple of times with some other people, so we're using his copy of the game, which is um, right at the very beginning of everything. So nothing is unlocked yet, mm -hmm. has been no run. Uh, we have not looked at my stuff at all. So, um, yeah, we're going to jump right in here. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah, so we start off yeah. on the map. We go to the map. There's only one way we can go, which, by the way, this token thing is super sweet, and I wish I could paint, but I can't. Yeah. But it's probably one of the coolest molds or standy, whatever is, you want to call it. It is super It's very awesome. detailed. I wish it was like 20% smaller, though. Yeah, it like, is pretty big. Like, even though, even though it's super cool and it's neat that it's huge, for practical purposes on the board, it's too Here's big. Here's a standard, standard card to how big it is. <laughs> These aren't even standard cards. These are larger than regular larger. cards. <laughs> yeah. It's big. It's a, it's a huge mini. And as you'll see, when we use it on the map, like it covers the entire space. <laughs> it's like, where are we standing out again? It's too much. Yeah. It's real cool. But I have, <laughs> I have stopped using it when I'm playing. Cause like, you know where you're at because it's the latest flipped up tile. Right, right. But, um, okay, anyway, we can, so we yeah, will. We'll so we start in that bottom corner there, and we only yep. have we have to follow the path. We only have one choice for the first one. One choice. We're going up to this guy here, and it's a. Okay. It is. It's a treasure. Flip it. We get some teeth. Ooh. Um, I'm assuming that's a cell. Yes. So we can choose, since it has the line there, we either get a gold tooth and a cell, or we get a treasure. Um, so the treasures are equipments. We each start off with one equipment slot, mm -hmm. um, and they will augment or give us additional types of abilities that we can utilize. So treasures are pretty good. Um, teeth are used as the in-run currency, so when we want to like heal or do something at the shop, we need teeth for that. The or do some damage yeah, at some point. Your character can essentially throw the teeth to do damage, <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> I mean, that but, sounds pretty cool. But you can also gain teeth uh, as one of your actions if you have the skill icon there. Sure. So, um, so that's for the teeth. The cells are like the premium currency. Those are used at the end of the run when we inevitably die or we defeat a boss, the run is over. So it's not like some of those other games like Slay the Spire of, oh, we beat it, now we're going to go on to the next thing. Like we beat the boss, we continue on with where we're at. Nope. In this one, you beat the boss, that's run over. Uh, and it even in the instructions, it's like, you beat the boss, congratulations. Now follow the rules for you died. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So, so that's that's pretty good. So it's <laughs> um I'll leave this one up to you. It's either kind of like long term gains versus immediate uh sure. survivability. I think I when you say long term and when I know we're gonna die, I feel like cells are kind of important. Because that's what we use to purchase on the mutation board, correct? Correct. Yeah, those other yes. those other decks that have the blue symbol on them with a, a like a two yep. for all so of like those. Right over here. Yeah, those. So we will be spending cells at the end of the run in order to unlock more cards. And some of those could be permanent upgrades. Some of those may be like cards to add to your deck. Like all sorts sure. of cool, neat things. Versus like a treasure, which if you've played Dead Cells, I believe is more familiar to like the items you are picking up. Kind of manipulate how our abilities react. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I still think teeth and cell. Okay. Sounds good. So those will immediately go up into our backpack, which is in that now, upper right corner there. I do have little teeth, and I do have big teeth. So the the big teeth 
are fivers. Oh, it actually has a number on. Yep. They they're Here? the acrylic um the acrylic pieces all have a symbol on them, but only on one side. They didn't Interesting. they didn't put it on both. Mine has neither. Really? Yeah, like here's what here's they? my big teeth. Right? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Were they, Never mind. Were they just opposited in the they're, bag? They're perfectly aligned. Uh -huh. And then the light glare. Okay, never mind. Okay. I thought I, I thought I had a one off. Okay, so those are just five. Yep. I'm gonna take a tooth, and then one cell. One cell. Yeah, I need a tackle box for this game. <laughs> yeah. And that resolves that, correct? Yep, that's done. So yes. then the tile just goes away. Uh, it it would like sit oh, in the spot yeah, yeah, yeah. still, but um, yeah. Look, see, look how large. You can't, you can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the thing on there, ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay, so now we have the option to move either up or down on those paths. Yep. So the main differences that we're looking at right now, and sort of what this decision is we can see that it's a fight first and that's the same for both. Okay. Yep. If we go the bottom route, we can get another one of those treasure tiles like we just did. Mm -hmm. And then it'll lead to the shop in the top after the, the enemy there, that is a deck check. So the question mark on the card means that it is coming from the deck and not from your hand. We'll see that in a future thing mm -hmm. when we do a hand check. But this deck check has a crown next to it, meaning first player. They will flip over the top card in their deck and then discard that card. And there are symbols in the upper left. And if one of those yep. symbols matches one of those things, you get that thing, which is cool. Um, yes. If you don't, you get no rewards and you just pass through. Correct. Right. Yeah. The next space will then be a door. Doors can have good things and can have fights. So it's kind of random whether you get something good or not okay i think we go up all right that sounds good Take our chance let's do it we'll flip over our minion tile here we'll slide down over this way and we are huh. all right we got two regular enemies mm -hmm. and a potential to loot two teeth of two teeth we like teeth mm-hmm at least I do, anyways. Yeah, you gotta take them teeth. They go here. Yep. Actually, yeah. I'll story. In. Yeah. And then we will spawn in. I did shuffle them already. Okay. Um, two enemies. First one is an undead archer, and I believe it starts on the far left. Correct. It, Not far it, left. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, it goes in that first slot just past yeah. us. If, yes. if they had a symbol in the upper right-hand corner, that would show which lane they go into. But okay. since it does not, it goes to the first available. Got it. Second one. A zombie. 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 All right. <clears throat> Hello, Seth. Welcome. Seth. Dead cells. Let's go. All right. So now it's combat time. So we each draw a hand of three cards. And one, two, three. Unlike some of the other games of this nature, uh, even though this is co op, it's not supposed to be full information. So we're not supposed yep. to know what we have in each other's hands. We also, so when the battle starts, uh, we are able to discuss in like a preparation phase where we can sort of discuss a quick strategy in the rules they say you are under attack though so make it snappy uh they just want to move the game along so we're able to kind of discuss strategy but we aren't able we aren't supposed to say exactly what is on our cards since we're playing sure. a two-player game uh similar to marvel united how there will always be three cards and then the enemy that's how it is with this too so if you're playing three player, each person plays one card. If you're playing two player, whoever is first player will play two of their cards 
and the other person will only play one of their cards. Um, did you go over the rules at all uh, as far as how combat works and such? Yeah, I think I played two, player one plays two cards. Uh, you played one, and then um, just resolving the effects in the rounds. Yeah, yeah that I'm, I did go through a bit a refresher, I guess, as far as like turn order. Okay. I, I understand the lanes. I understand that stuff. Okay. And like the icons and whatnot. Perfect. Or, um, like you said, re resolving my card, then your card, then my card. Like, is that it? So <laughs> there's a lot of, um, the rule book is not written very well. So there is definitely a lot of like, Oh, well, how does this work? And it's not, shown in the rules well um <laughs> okay. there are even some inconsistencies in the rules versus the like combat um uh example <laughs> like okay. what why so what it seems to be is that uh you'll play your two you'll have your two cards i'll have mine since first player will resolve both of their cards in either mm -hmm. order and then the other player will resolve their card Okay. Okay. Um, so, I uh, I am going to. So basically, so, here we don't we don't say everything on our card. Yeah. So what I'm for our preparation thing, we could be like, mm, we we should probably try to get those teeth. You know, maybe mm -hmm. I can I can try to get the teeth, um, or like I can't really help out too much with attacking, you know that that sort of thing. Or like maybe we want to prioritize defeating the zombie because he will hit us three times versus the archer that hits us two. Um, but then when when we go to play okay. our cards, you will announce one of the things on your cards and which round mm -hmm. you're doing it in. And you would right. do that for each of your cards, and then each that card. that could potentially sway me. So, like, if you if you say, you know, I'm gonna loot in round three, then maybe I will choose something that isn't a loot card because we're okay. already looting the stuff. So it almost, yeah, I was gonna say, if loot looks like a priority, it's almost makes it the priority to say, I will take care of loot, focus on something else. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, in that case. Yes, What's I. Up, Pino? My, my first card, I can take care of the loot. Okay. In what round are you doing the loot? So you're... that would be the that would be the third. Okay. So when yeah, when we play the cards, we can say specifically like, "This is the thing I'm doing in this round with this card." Okay. Sure. Um, and then my second card. Um, I will be attacking second round. I don't know if I can give location. Okay. Like if I could say if I'm attacking whatever enemy. Well, we can also decide that like when it happens. Okay. Okay. So then that'll be my second. Okay. Then I will I will attack in the third round. Then for my third card, or for okay. the third card. Um. All right, so now we now that we've declared our cards, we'll flip them over. Hey. And so the turn structure for this, it would start off everything resolves from left to right and then top to bottom. So on our uh board there with the monsters on it, we have the space in front of us, we're represented by that image in the middle. There's a space to the left of us. Monsters there will activate first if there are any. Then it is our turn. So most of the time it's going to be us going first, but there will be some instances where an enemy will get like a first strike sort of situation. So we look at the round one segment of your cards since you are first yep. player. So right now my turn one, I'm doing nothing with this card. Okay. And then second card, I'm using my, uh, I don't know what they call that. Um, skill? Uh, skill. My skill, which is right now gaining a tooth. Okay. So and that, then that's the, my round one. That tooth goes directly into our bag. Okay. 
I can get it out of the bag. Okay. Cat keeps jumping Pet. up on the table, looking at stuff and running away. Um, so then it goes to my card here that I've played, and I have nothing for round one or two. But I'll be doing two Ooh. unblockable damage in the Pet. third round. So I'm not helping this first round. Woo! Sure. Matrix. I haven't yep. had that in a while. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now we've done our turn. So now it goes to the enemy. Starting with the archer. He doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And then in round one, the zombie hits somebody for one. Uh, we get to decide who takes the hits. Yep. Although they're like the archer's round three has the crown next to it. That means, I think that's what that is. Is that what that is? Uh, no, nope, that's that a the minus. The minus heart. Okay. The minus heart, he hits whomever has the least amount of health. Um, sure. But there are some attacks that are first player specific, and the first player has to take that hit. But yep. since this doesn't have that, we could choose who takes the hit. Um, I think I should take this first hit, because yep. my character generally does shield the things. Okay. All right. So we finished all the enemies for round one. So now at the, on the right side, it is a reminder of if somebody is poisoned, they take a damage. And then uh, if there are any empty spaces between the monsters and us, the monsters shift over. So they would slide, down slide down. over toward us. Yeah. And now it goes to round two. So that, that weird little um, token that's on us. Yeah, that... That's the that's the thing to keep track of the rounds, so that can slide down to the second one. Yeah, Ooh, don't okay. worry, you won't use this for too long. I'm sure. <laughs> I was gonna say, it seems it's, helpful now. <laughs> yeah, it's not super complex to keep track of which round you're in. Some sure. there are some things where you're resolving other stuff, and that could get a little more hectic. But yeah, it's okay. it's really not that big of a deal. So nobody okay. nobody before us. Then our turn, and yes. you are first. So my first round, you go first. My round two. I'm going to do a damage to either the enemy behind us or the first two sections of the enemy side. Okay. Um, so I don't... My, my, my second card here only hits the front one, so I could potentially kill him. That seems ideal, because I'm, yes. I'm not doing any attacks this round. Okay. So my first card, then, I will damage the undead archer. Okay. And in my second turn, I will damage the undead archer. Perfect. He only has two health, so he's he's gone. So he's defeated immediately. And at the mm -hmm. bottom, it has a little um, grave stone yep. thing that show that means when they die, you get this thing. So we get yeah. a tooth. Another tooth. And that tooth does go directly into our bag. Gotcha. Un unlike the teeth that are still on the floor Indeed. waiting to be looted. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Okay. So the and the, then that's my turn. All right. I have nothing in my round two slot. The enemy doesn't move forward yet, but he does make an attack. Okay. Um. I think I'd probably prefer you to take this one <laughs> to kind of spread it out a little one. bit. All right. Cool. Yep. And then at the end of the round, there's no poison, and then he shifts forward. Okay. Now it's round three. Oh, let's move this guy first. That's right. <laughs> uh, round three. I do have the loot icon. Okay. Um, so that's going to... Do, do I loot everything? So when you loot, you loot all of one type of thing. Gotcha. So that's one loot nice. action will loot all the teeth. All the teeth. Look at that. Up to five. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. And then my third, my second card, I do nothing for third, round three. Okay. So now... I finally do something. My round three. Yeah. yeah I do two damage. Yeah, two damage. And it has the no shield. So you can't. It's unblockable damage. And I can hit uh, the first two dudes, which there's only one guy right That's in the front. One. So I will hit. Two damage. I will. Whoa. I will hit that. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll yeah, figure that out. We'll get better at that. <laughs> I will hit that zombie for two. Dead. He's dead. Okay. So then we get. What is that? Another tooth? We get another tooth. Woo. We can turn that into a five plus one. Here. Six teeth. 
five and keep one. All right. Yeah. Keep these close just in case. Yeah. So that's the end of the combat. Our cards go to the discard pile. Mm -hmm. And then we draw until we have three in our hand again. Yep. Let's put these this way. Keeping the original, correct? Yes, you keep the card you did not play. Or the cards yep. you did not play. Just caught. Draw two. Yeah. Okay. So Seth, Blunder is the poisoned. And I am playing the flayed. Yeah. He bears a giant shield. Yeah. Uh, the flayed says, this whole thing touches a nerve. Yeah. What does mine say? Uh, I had a feeling that apple looked a little too red. Yeah. That's how he died. We did. He was poisoned. <laughs> All right, well, we have okay. finished this combat, so we are back up to the map. The map. Let's see if I hang on the right foot pedal. Nope. Nope. <laughs> We're learning. There it is. <laughs> it's usually my mute mic button. All right, Um. so this is that skill check you were talking about. Yes. Card check. So now we have a deck check. Yep. Uh, so since you are first player still, because mm -hmm. um, you have the crown... You will yep. flip over a card or discard a card from your the top of your deck. Yep. And, and knowing it, what I know, I don't think there's going to be a symbol here. A bummer. Uh, we'll do it over here. Well, we'll find out. Oh, there is. Oh, there is. Okay. Utility. Does that get discarded? It does get discarded, yes. Yep. All right. So with utility, what do we gain? We gain... Another, Another tooth. tooth. Dang, dude. Swimming in these teeth. Just finding teeth everywhere. We got to get your uh, your upgrade. Yeah, so upgrade my uh, throwing face. teeth. <laughs> okay. Let's right. move on. And then we move on. B1. It's a gate. Ooh, what do we nice. got? So that little vial there. Uh, I was playing this wrong initially. I had read it as one person heals all their damage. No, that's just one damage. So we can heal one okay. damage from somebody. I think that somebody should be you okay. for that. I'm taking that off. Okay. Uh, and then that symbol underneath is that one person can discard a card from their hand and then redraw. Mm -hmm. oh, I wish I knew, but I don't have a... Oh, I suppose I would then shuffle since I'm out of cards. Yeah, if you would draw and your deck is empty, then you shuffle. Yeah. Um, um, because I'm not too... Food, I, is, does the person who healed also have to be the one that no. shuffles? No, it does not. Okay. I mean, I don't know my deck well enough and what's to come. So uh, if you feel the need to want to do so. Okay. You know what? I will, I will do one because these cards are effectively the same. So I will drop that one and pick up this one to give me a little more versatility. Okay. So now that is done. So now we have the option to either go to the shop, which we probably want to do since we have seven teeth, or that uh, obelisk type symbol there is an elite fight. So that guarantees Ooh. an elite fight. Um, and that's, that's kind of rough. <laughs> At this, so what you're saying at this is stage we're... in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, I want to see the shop. Let's do the shop. Okay. So we'll go down to the shop, dude. All right. We'll flip that over. Ooh. It says one it says one time you can spend two teeth for a blueprint, I believe is that yeah. simple. Yeah. So <laughs> super cool thing about this game that I like a lot is that each biome has its own set of blueprints, similar to the video game where, like, in different places, blueprint, blueprints could drop. And then if you cleared that area, then that blueprint would unlock for all future runs. So it's that's going like to... Just like the game. Yeah, just like <laughs> the game. So that's how this works here. The one times means that we can do it once, and it mm -hmm. would cost two teeth, and then we get the bottom blueprint from the blueprint deck. Yes. Okay. With, yeah. With uh, so many teeth. I think that's a no-brainer. Yeah. So we'll take two off our bag. 
in exchange for this is not shuffled this is pre-built yep and then we take the bottom one bottom card off that and then do so, we gain it right away or we, how do we we do not so we have the blueprint for this we can look and see what it is um, yep, it is the broadsword the yeah, broad sword. yeah everybody uh, yep. you're always you're broad, always going to get the broadsword broadsword's always going to be the first thing so yep. this will go onto the collector space on the mutation board i don't know if you have a a camera for the mutation board at all i don't i don't even, right. oh it's right here that's but fine. I can whip, I can whip it out. So quick. you you could just have it off to the side, because um, the mutation sure. board is not usually this, used during the game. Yeah, this is like your yeah, this is like your when you end your run and you see your progression in dead cells. Yeah. So the collectors on the bottom right of that interbiome thing. Um, mm -hmm. So the he collects the blueprints. If we can make it to him then we immediately gain the blueprints that he has. So, okay. so that blueprint so, would go in that little slot. Yeah, so they would, it would go, it would sit on him, um, which you can, since that's really bulky and we have limited table space, you could just set it aside. It doesn't, like, sure. have yeah. to be on that thing. But we know that it's it's on, on, on the, the collector. collector. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> now we just got to get there. Next, we move on. Yep. I hit the right button. Let's go. All right. That's All right, so we are one. here. We can do a battle. Yep. That's and right. we're going there up go. against... Ooh, first player changes. Yep. So that crown movement, that is how first player changes. So I will now take the first player token. And then we've mm -hmm. got three normal enemies. Ooh. One... Three health zombie, an undead archer, and a shield bearer. All, the whole okay. archetype. And then we have a um, tactic scroll as ooh, our loot. Pretty sure that's what we were looking for. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me grab that, throw that there. So the one that you grabbed, I, I mean, ultimately it doesn't matter. The one that you grabbed is the tracker. There are separate scrolls. ones that are, yeah, just the scroll. It's the same thing, but, it's... you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you're playing yeah. four player, you won't have the arrow ones to use. That's true. That's true. All right. We got the scroll out. Okay. Um, so that would and be that... an ideal thing to loot. So when we loot that, that's not a bag thing, right? That's something that gets applied to my board right away. Uh, it doesn't. So okay. we, we when we loot it, we put it in the bag. When the combat is over, we resolve things that are in the bag. So that's then right. somebody could get that tactics advancement. Uh, mm -hmm. Similarly, if there is equipment that is lootable, when we loot it, it goes to the bag. And then after the combat, we can then divvy it. Okay. All right, get into combat. Okay, so your first player this time. Yeah, um, I'm. I think I'm gonna uh, go a little more for survivability this time around, um, but I can also, uh, I can make sure that we get that tactic scroll too. Okay, so, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, there's a lot of enemies here, so I feel like turn three is, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be kind of rough. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try this card out. Um, so my, um, I'm going to attack in the second round and loot in the first round. I will. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about looting then if you're doing it. Um, I'll be attacking in the third. Okay. With this one. All right. Okay. We will probably get there of the undefeated enemies at the end of round three in this combat, Seth. So 
we'll we'll get we'll get back to you in just a moment <laughs> all right uh so flipping the cards i'm just going to put these up here so we have a little better room um so my first action i will loot that scroll so we get that, in our bag. We get that scroll into our bag uh and then i'm going to shield myself okay. um so I gain a shield. I can use this to negate a damage or block a damage. Sure. Uh, sure. That's it for my round one. Okay. My round one. Nothing. Nothing. All right. <laughs> now we go down the line of nothing. Nothing there. Hey, look. Nothing there. Shield bearer. He's going to gain a shield like you. Yep. He's going to block a damage. Show is. Shield on him, and then that's it. Okay. Now we're down to round two. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, my skill, which the only skill I have unlocked here is gaining a shield. So I will okay. do that. And then, Tank. Yeah. Then I will hit either the person in the first or second position. Yeah. Um, so that first zombie has three health. Yes. And right now, I mean, looking at my card. I'm going to be poisoning um, second round. Okay. So if you hit, I would think if you hit him at the end of the round, he's going to be at two. Yeah. So I'll, I will hit that first zombie just so we don't get an additional hit at the end. Um, yep. And that way, if you poison that one, then he will like, bleed out um well he's at um, one yeah so if you if you poison him at the end of round two he'll take another damage and be at two mm -hmm. and then if you just attack him in round three then he won't get to activate because gotcha. he would be dead gotcha. okay all right so we're we're not getting the full efficiency out of the poison um whereas like since poison ignores block, if you were to poison the shield bearer, there would be two rounds and then he would be defeated right before the end of the combat. Um, okay. But he's only hitting one time versus you can avoid two damage by doing the first guy. Sure. Okay. Um, so you did your damage. It's my turn. We are going to, just like we planned, poison the zombie. Okay. Now, that zombie attacks, we can have him hit me, which I block with a shield. Okay. Archer attacks. Uh, One damage. Attack me, I block with a shield. Ooh, shields. Yeah. Okay. Shield bearer. This guy. He places a shield on the enemy yeah. in front of and behind him. Thankfully, there's no enemy behind him. Well, that goes here. Yep. Okay. That's the end of the round. Well, it's not the end of the round. Well, it kind of is. It's the end of the round, so poison ticks and Boop. hits the zombie for him. Okay. Yeah. Round three, I have nothing on my cards. Oh, all right. I do have a damage. Um, we said we were going to hit the zombie. I think so. For three, he's dead. Poison comes off, hearts come off. Yeah, because that one damage wouldn't get, um, wouldn't be enough to defeat anybody else. Yeah. Yep. So we may as well get rid of him. So he doesn't he has... have, he doesn't have a reward for defeating him, but he has a round four action of doing an extra damage. So as he's, if he's still alive at the end of combat, since combat's only three rounds there are round four tr abilities that sometimes trigger at the end of the combat. So he would hit gotcha. us at the end as we're leaving. Not good. So we don't get a reward, but we avoid getting more damage on us. So in this, in this instance, would I keep the three on him and then? No, he still, no. he still is dead because it reaches his health value. Um, but then but we don't the, discard them, right? Or you, what do we do? You do discard them still. Yeah. Yep. As soon as they die, they get discarded. We would get the rewards. Yep. The enemies don't slide forward till the end of the round. 
All right. Um, I'll so now my turn. that was you. So now we go to the archer. And he, he is going to hit the person with the least amount. Yeah, that, that's the minus deal one damage to the opponent with the fewest remaining hit points. Mm-hmm. So that is me, since I have two remaining hit points. So I have now two damage of three. If I get hit again, then we lose. Yeah. Um, which isn't super great, because I realize that that's probably <laughs> the crown there, isn't it? Maybe. Um, yeah, so yeah. one of those one of those hits from a previous person that I blocked with shields, <laughs> since I couldn't see that that was a crown. I mean... Once the cards are flipped, we have perfect information for the battle. Right. Um, I don't know how you feel about like you just taking the one because I would have that for the shield of just seeing it, seeing that in the round. Um, or we could just die. Let's here. let's be fair. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so then I have Anyways, taken... You take one more damage. I take one more damage. I am now defeated, but we still continue the combat to the end. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the end of round three. And uh, there's no poison stuff. The enemies don't move on round three because it's over. So yep. then, then yep. we check if there is a round four action on anybody, which there's not for anybody that's left. So then those enemies just go to the discard and we don't yeah. get any effects for them. Wah, wah. So the battles are quick. Um, so because the round still always plays out all the way, if you have a loot action on turn three or round three and you defeat everybody, you still get to loot what's there. Sure. Makes sense. Because you're going through the same thing. Um, unfortunately, similarly, if you get poisoned in round one, you, and you defeat all the enemies in round one, you still have to take the poison damage from each round. Oh, (laughs) gotcha. Not great. Um, okay. So since one of us died, uh, then our run is now over at the conclusion of that combat. Mm -hmm. So run being over, unfortunately we did not make it to the broadsword. So that will go back to the bottom of the, um, the, the blueprint. Deck. Yep. The blueprint deck. Okay. Our, Ooh. our teeth and that scroll that we looted do nothing. Those they are, go away. Those are now gone. Bye. bye So we have one whole cell to use you don't keep the cells from run to run so you have to use them um, or you lose them and I think at the start of the game we only have one thing that costs one cell the abandoned well the abandoned well so we spend that um, we grab the bottom card of that deck so it's from this one right here Yeah. and we resolve it it says, abandon well. The temptation to throw something into it is too strong. Sploosh. Nothing happens. Well, what were you expecting? All Nothing. Right. Trash That's symbol. That. It's trash. Yes. <laughs> Card is straight trash. So in the insert, there's a little slit next to where the first player token goes. That is the purge spot. So whenever there's a card that gets resolved that has that trash symbol, or when you purge a card from the game, you can drop it in that slot. It'll go under Mm -hmm. the insert, and then that is out of the game forever until you reset it. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I've put them in there. It doesn't, like, destroy the things. That's what I mean. Like, I still... Where is my box? (laughs) I mean, you can set it aside for now and just know that that's... Yeah, it's gone. That's we'll gone. put it right here. Yeah. Here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now we sort of made progress a little bit, I guess. Um, Start over. But now we... Yeah, we reset. Uh-oh. So we didn't get any new... 
blueprints to add to our treasure deck. Um, and so it's basically just going to be shuffling the enemies back together. Your, I don't know if it's your Discord that's lagging. Uh oh. I think uh, you got like a. Mm. Do I need to or if it's me. stop my thing and restart it? Here, we'll try. Yeah, that was weird. We'll, we'll try that and try this again. All right. Enemies are shuffled. That looks better. All right. Now, in this game, you can switch characters, right? If you really wanted to. Yes. At the end of the run. Yep. Yep, you absolutely can do that. Yeah. Cards are ready. Board's cleared. i got to remake the map. Yep. So give me a second to do that. We almost made it. <laughs> Darn cloud art. In your in your plays, have you you've gotten past the biome, right? Yes. Okay. When I had played, um, we made it to the. I played it two player, um, the first two. Uh, and the in both of those runs, I made it. We made it to the second biome, and we lost in the first fight of the second biome. <laughs> I have since right. played a few games solo, and um, I have managed to beat the first boss a couple of times. Do you think the the uh, the additional what is it Serenade plays well? Is that the name? Yeah, of, um, of the sword. I'm sure this is a shock, but the rules aren't super great for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's basically. Um, their board is next to yours and uh, you want to be conscious of the cards that you discard or the order that the cards are discarded because at the start of the turn um, if you have a one of the symbols on your top of your discard pile serenade can use that as an extra ability which is cool you always play two cards even if serenade is first player um, and since we sort of have this, like, you don't totally know what the other person's going to do situation going on, uh, it's not clear in the rule book th as to when you flip over Serenade's card that for what they're going to do in combat. So what it seems like you're probably supposed to do is you play your two cards and then flip over Serenade's card to see what they do. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, can chat help you in any way? Sure. Yeah. By all means, feel, feel free. If you notice that it's a crown symbol, and I think it's <laughs> a minus it symbol. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Hang on. Math doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh, oh, right. I I see what you're saying. So it, it was less about. Like, you have ideas and you want to help, as opposed to, is there a thing that chat can do to help? Mm. In which case, I don't think so. Unless you notice that sort of thing of, no, don't take that hit, because you're going to die from here if you do. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Here Let's we go. Right in there. First spot. Do you want me to Ugh. start off being first player this time? Sure. Okay. First player can either gain a uh, tactics, or we get, or we get a treasure. Mm. Um, if I end up getting two tactics, then at the start of each fight, I can give somebody a shield. That's kind of nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, and we don't have the TP at the start. Let's see. Uh, treasure. You know what? Let's get. Let's get a treasure. We okay, didn't. I'm we gonna... didn't get any, any equipment last time so let's let's see what the equipment okay. does and this equipment can be divvied out even though it's your pick or your you know what i mean yes like first player doesn't always get the loot correct all right this one we can drop from the top i did reshuffle it just because we started a new run 
Okay. Huh. You get the old wooden shield. Um, block one damage in round two. Um, how about you take that one? Yep. I'll take that one. Yeah. So that, that card's pretty cool because since we can choose who we are assigning damage to, like that round two first damage can always go to you and it always be does me. nothing. Thanks. So it's pretty strong. Yeah. Unless they have the pierce, right? Ignores armor, then that item does not. Correct. Because that well, is, okay. that is, the wording on that is blocking. Um, or it blocks the damage in round two, and that avoids mm -hmm. the block. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, all right. I picked last time. All right, let's uh, let's go try down this time. Down this time. Here we go. You can guarantee oh. that treasure. Oof. Oh, first player changes. All right. It's that big one again that killed us last time. <laughs> well, here we are. Okay, so then it's three regulars. Mm -hmm. I did shuffle it. The Grenadier, followed by the Shield Bearer, Oof. followed by a Zombie. Okay. And then our loot for the night, or for this match, is a Tactics Scroll. Tactics, all right. Well, um, here we go, I guess. Let's... I gotta remember the targeted symbol does marked. Place a marked token on one opponent when taking at least one damage. They take one more. Yeah. It's a crit. Okay. Um, I think I'm. I'm just gonna. I. Oh, you're first player, so I do one card. Okay. Yeah, we swapped. Um. If you can, oh, man, I'm not. Gonna, don't, I'm not going to be doing a whole mu a whole lot. Well, um, we know I can block this damage. Yep. So, I wonder if we focus someone else. Although that guy does gonna, give us a cell, if we defeat him. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not this. This combat doesn't just go on. Right. You gotta yep. literally pick and choose your battle. Yep. Um, okay. I get two cards. So so he's he's probably um he's probably the priority, sure. I would say. That, that makes sense. Yep. And then and then maybe after that the scroll. Okay. Uh, I, I can't ask questions. <laughs> um I can take care of the Grenadier. So I will attack with this card in turn three. Okay. And then um, I will, they both have two health. Um, he's got a round four effect. So I almost think that would probably be more, more important than this gold tooth here. Mm -hmm. Um. So then I'm going to prioritize my marked target. If you can, oh, it's a second slot. I can't reach him. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe we can take out the Grenadier faster and then. Yeah. From there. Yeah. I think I still play that. But we only have to. <clears throat> Okay, he's going to hit once anyways. So then I will... Grenadier will be fine. And then... Yeah, I can take care of the Grena Gren Grenadier. With that card. Okay. So what That's action are goal. you doing in what round on that card? Um, on that last one, I will be... Yeah, I will attack round two. Okay. Uh, for my card, I am also going to attack in round two. Okay. okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's flip. All right. First one, I do nothing. Don't forget this. <laughs> yep. 
And then my round one in this card is my utility skill, which allows us to gain a two. Okay. That goes up in our bag. Yep. And that's my go. All right. My card that I played, I have a skill in round one, and then I attack the person in front. I think it's the same as your card that you played as well. Um, my skill is to gain a shield, so I will gain a shield okay. for my round one. Got it. All right, let's go down the enemies. The Grenadier is going to attack. Um, do you want to use I'll, your shield? Yeah, I'll take it with the shield. Okay. We'll take it. Um, the shield breaker is going to gain a shield. Shield bearer, sorry. Um, and then round one here, zombie is going to attack. Um, I'll just take that one too. Okay. That is the end of that. At the end of round effects, no one is poisoned. Nobody needs to move up because the line is full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep those cards, cards there. Go. Nope. Keep those cards. Oh, there. sorry, sorry, sorry. That's right. <laughs> It's 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 a new way of combat. Yep. <laughs> Cards are played. Um, that's the entire combat. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. Okay, uh, we start over. Whoop. Round two. Guess what? I do nothing. Okay. Uh, but this round two, I can do a damage. Um, my plan was to take out the grenadier solo. So therefore, I will put my damage on him. Well, you have to put it on him because that card I is have the to, first range. It's literally the only the only enemy. Yep. So. And my card is the same thing, so I have to do one damage to the person in the first oh, slot as overkill. well. Oh, overkill. All right. Okay, now we go to the enemy. Does uh, the Grenadier... I'm oh, sorry. Does does the Grenadier have three health or two? Should only have two. I mean... Like, oh, sorry. It, total three health. Total three health. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. We'll get to a fun thing for your other card in, in a bit. Yes, Magic Moose, yes. I am trying to tank, but... <laughs> it's it's difficult at this stage of the game. <laughs> um, okay. So then we do the round two effects on the enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, round two effect here is he's, the Grenadier is going to do damage to the first player. Um, in this case, that's me. Um, it's one damage, but we did grab the old wooden shield, and guess what? We block one damage in round two. This is round two. Yeah, we yeah. take none damage. Got him. None damage. Um and then round two shield bearer is going to start tanking to get another shield token. He's going to shield his, his buddies. Yep. So Grenadier is going to get one. This and zombies is unfortunate. Gonna get one. I know, right? Um, <laughs> and then zombie, zombie at the end here is going to do one damage round two. You want me to take that one? Um, the round three for the shield bearer, is that a crown for first player? It is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're... You you can take this one, then you'll end up <laughs> taking the one from the shield bearer, and then I'll take the one from the zombie leaving, yep. and then we'll both be at two out of three health. Yeah. Neat. Mm, we, die. we die quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it. At the end of the round, anybody that's poisoned would take a damage, and then any, any spots that are open, they would slide down there. They're still full. All right, round three. Here's where we get to do some fun stuff, right? That's what you said? Um, yeah. Not yet? Okay, so I do two damage. Um, but it's only one target, right? So, funny thing about this. <laughs> okay. Since those hearts are split like that, that is one damage to two targets. Cannot be the same target. Oh. Yeah. So as a, as opposed to what would it what it, would it be otherwise? Um, otherwise, if they're kind of stacked on top of each other a little bit, the second one down, oh, it's, it's two okay. damage to one opponent. Well then, yeah, they rely really heavily on these player aids because they don't have any of this information in the rule book. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Which is okay. super um, helpful. So it's not totally bad. Um, it's totally bad. It's not totally bad. <laughs> it's, what do you do round three? Nothing. Okay, well, I'm doing absolutely nothing here. <laughs> you're, ta uh. you're taking out two shields, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll take out this shield, I guess, and this shield. Brutal. 
brutal. Yeah. Um, and then my second card, I don't do anything. Yep. And I do nothing in round three on my card. Oh. Now their yeah. turn. It's their turn. <laughs> We were talking about this end. earlier, and I said, yeah, we'll probably get through a few runs tonight. <laughs> um, the shield bearer is going to hit the front player one. That's me. That's I, take a damage. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything about it. And then round three on the zombie, um, nothing. Nothing. All right. We've completed combat. Uh, so now we see if anybody has any round four abilities. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. His round four ability is doing a damage. I will take that damage. I now have you two. Have to take it. I yeah, I have two out of the thing. We didn't kill any of them, so they all go away. Yeah. <laughs> and then our cards go to the discard. <laughs> oh, and we also didn't, work. we also didn't loot that scroll. <laughs> so what, nope. did, what that... did we gain from this fight? One a tooth two. and four damage. <laughs> uh, all right. Well. That's part of Dead Cells, right? You learn. Yep, yep. It's a two roguelite. That's right. <laughs> I mean, we, um, need, we need like two cells, and then we're good. So let's <laughs> let's flip this treasure and see what happens. Man, who right, picked this it. route? Yeah, what who a... did that? Oh, geez. All right, there's your options. You can either gain a tooth and a cell or a treasure. Huh. I know I'm player one, so... As, as, much, as, that, as much as that shield helped us, I feel like we're... We're scraping yeah. by. We probably should grab a cell while we can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll grab that. Um, so we grabbed a tooth and a cell, and then we move on. Yep. To the shop. Shop. Uh, the heel shop? It's not the heel nope. shop. <laughs> it's a one time. We could spend one tooth to gain a treasure. I mean, that, that seems pretty good. It does. So spend one <clears throat> gain. Sorry, treasure, right? Yeah, yes. It's, the, yep. it's a treasure. Let's flip over to the other screen here before I knock this over. And huh, the beginner's bow on turn one, um, you can do, is that a separate instance? Is that what that means? So uh, what that is showing is that. Or, or do it's, this. Yes. So you either on a card, take your for round one action, or you deal one damage to one of the back two spots. Okay. So a fun thing um, when playing like one or two player is that you're playing two cards. So that can replace either or both of the one spot per card. Round one. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay. So I, um, I know I know through my deck I can't reach the last enemy. I think that's so if I remember. If you take the item, mm -hmm. I do not get the shield. Gotcha. Once you have something equipped to you, it is just to you. Okay. So you take the bow. So I would probably take the bow. Yes, you're taking the bow. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we paid a tooth. Yeah, we're good. All right. Yeah. Back to the map. How about one enemy that's super easy? I'm going to bring it over to this side because I think this is, uh, <laughs> this is going to make or break. Huh. All right. Two enemies. <laughs> did you hear that grunt that he just did? It's like, <laughs> <"Sign up." laughs> All right. Uh, two enemies, two teeth in the loot. I actually don't remember if there's any things that are only one enemy. Gotcha. Uh, the grenadier goes in position one, mm. zombie position two. Okay. Not bad. I mean,. I'm blocking a damage here. Yeah. So as as long as I can block a damage on round one, then we only die on round three unless we can kill the <laughs> grenadier. I'm gonna <laughs> deal up to three, and then I'm still player one, so I will play two cards. Yep. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? See, so, I feel like poison. Knowing what I know about poison, I feel like it's kind of weak right now because it's like. Stuff's going to die before it could even really do anything. Yeah. But I could be wrong. There's items, there's all that sorts of stuff that are poison. Right. Get started turn one or something. So. so here's partly our problem with this fight here. Is in round Always three... pointing out the negatives. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we learn though, right? <laughs> um, these are the things to watch out for. Exactly what has happened here. Uh <laughs> So if we don't kill the Grenadier by round three, 
he hits both of us for one. And that kills me. Which will kill both of us. Um, yeah. You're thankfully blocking the zombie in round two, which mm-hmm. is good. So we just have to deal with the round one hit, which I can do, which is super yeah. cool. So then it's like, well, then our priority is the grenadier because he's going to kill us. So then mm-hmm. we, we'll put all our resources into killing the grenadier, and then we won't kill the zombie, and then he's going to hit us on the way out. And we only take need one more damage to lose. <laughs> okay, so we need to we need to kill the grenadier. I <laughs> will attack him with card one. Okay, attacking card one, and then card two. I can, man, I kind of want to like loot, but, um, looting will not matter. No. Um, I will attack round three. Okay. I will, this sh- card. I will shield round one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's see what I got going on here. We're attacking round one. Uh, Grenadier, right? We're in agreement on that one. Um, you have marked on round two. What's mm-hmm. your What's your other card? My other card will do poison on round two and attack on round three, but first round does nothing. Um, how much health does a zombie have? Two and two is what we're looking at. <laughs> God gamers. Okay. Yes. We're... Yes, I like that. See, the first <laughs> bit of good news you've had all night. <laughs> yep. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, attacking okay, a grenadier, so I... yes, that is a yep. good plan. And then nothing, turn one. Okay. I have um, shielding, turn one, and then attacking once, turn two. So nice. I will gain the shield, turn one. Okay. It's time for the enemies to go. Yep. Oh, I forgot about the Yep. <laughs> Grenadier gains a shield. This game's impossible. And <laughs> why'd I get this? <laughs> Zombie attacks. And you have to take that. I yep. Yeah, I have to take it. I block it with the shield. Yep. Yeah. Um at the end, nobody's poisoned, nobody moves. Yep. Round two. Round two. Keep your cards out, everybody. Yep. Keep the cards out. Uh, we need a targeted round. token. Yep. Sorry, targeted token that is going to allow the next enemy that takes a damage to receive one more. This is fine. Don't worry, chat. This is fine. That's going to go on. I think we want to do zombie. No. No. Okay. Never mind. Grenadier. Mm-hmm. And then my next round, that zombie. Correct. Because it doesn't matter, right? Um, that's it for me. Okay. So I do an attack. And I will attack the Grenadier. Uh, since it's not doing damage, the Marked does not do an additional damage. But I am removing the shield. Shield's gone. Yep. Okay. That's it for you? That's it for me. All right. It's enemy's turn. Okay. Grenadier does nothing. Mm-hmm. Zombie hits, but guess what? Old wooden shield blocks the damage. Yep. So they do nothing. Uh, poison ticks. Heck yeah, it does. They move down, which they don't, because the line is full, and then it's back on us. Yep. Uh, round three, nothing. Just yep. chilling. Guess what? We're doing a damage. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. And by a no, damage... No. We mean two. Not that many hearts. More hearts. Breaking hearts here. Yeah, I need to go to Michael's craft store and buy a <laughs> thing. Okay, so jewelry container. Yeah. <laughs> we do one damage, but because he's targeted, does that stay on? It sure does. Nice. Well, I assume it doesn't say in the rules one way or the other, so I'm okay. I'm pretty sure it stays on him though. Yeah. Okay. Not that it matters because we've done right. enough to kill him. Yes, he is now defeated. Um, 
He's so defeated. We get his reward that goes into yep. our bag. Can we look at it? Yes, we can. But we just don't get it till we just don't get it till the combat's over. Ooh, knife dance. Um, it is the utility symbol. So it's a skill. Um, I would I would assume that means. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Um, discard this card after use. So it's mm -hmm. a one time one time item. Yep. Um, it does damage to all. It ignores shields. So it does one damage to all enemies. Or oh, sorry. I should probably that. Well, the effect is applied to all opponents in this combat. So it's going to do one damage to everybody in the line, including the people behind us. Yep. That goes up here. Correct. That's a pretty nice item. Mm -hmm. One time use, but that's a lot of damage. Knowing what we know. Um, okay. He's dead. And uh, that's it uh, for me. Yep. All right. And I have yeah. nothing. I have nothing in my round three slot. I'm going to move this down. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Enemy's turn. Yep. Guess what? He does nothing round three. Heck yeah. End of turn. Guess what? More damage from poison. He's dead. He's dead before it gets to round four. Mm. Uh, thank goodness. What do we get for killing that guy? Um, we get a tooth. Nice. One, two. Victory is ours. Okay. That was close. We didn't loot. We didn't loot. We lost some teeth. That's okay. Yep. All right. All right. That's it for that one. So now that we have the item in the backpack there, we can, mm -hmm. now we would resolve that, and either of us can take that item. Yep. I do not think I want that item. So why? Because I don't know. Why? Would me taking the bow delete my wooden shield, but not the knife? If you take the knife, you delete the wooden shield. Gotcha. You just, you can't, um, in a lot of other things, it's like, ooh, I'll take this equipment. You can have my old equipment. No. Mm -hmm. Once it's, it's soul bound to you, once you have equipped something. Gotcha. Um, oh, I need to draw one more. Um, I feel like that shield's been doing some work. It's true. So I, I would I would hate to get rid of it. All right. So then we can just discard that knife. You don't want it? No. Okay. Discard. Yep. All right. To the map. To the map. Got to go down. Got to go down to the old Let's gate. See. Hope it's a, one of the good ones. Let's go back here because that was good luck. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the good ones. It's a heal and or shuffle cards. Yep. It's a one person heals one. Um, How much health you got? We are that the same. Okay. Um, I have a chance to get shields and you are first player. So I think it should be you that heals. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. This way also, when we lose again, it can be my fault again. <laughs> so okay. there, there we go. Um, and then we have the option to shuffle our hands. I just shuffled, so I'm not going to... Yeah, it'd be to, to discard a card and draw a new one. I don't think I want to do that either. Yeah, I'm okay with what I got here. So, okay. okay. Uh, to the map. We're going on to our final... This is the farthest we've made it, right? Um, yeah, I think we'd, we died at oh, the previous yeah. one the last time. Achievement unlocked. Okay. <laughs> new here we go. record! Yeah. Huh. Ooh, ooh, we got a chance. Ooh. All right, two enemies. Two enemies in uh, a cell. There's a cell in the middle. All right, let's do enemies here. Two enemies. We got a one undead archer, followed by a shield bear. Let's put this. Man, these are sticking together. I don't like that. Okay. That goes there. And then first player is still me. Rock and roll. Hmm. Okay. Um, interesting. So if we end up looting the cell and then dying in the fight, we still get the cell. As long as the person... So, like, for instance, if I... 
if I do loot in round three and I die before round three, the loot doesn't go off. But if you die, gotcha. oh, my right, right. loot can that, still go off. Because that explains the keeping your cards out and finishing the round. Correct. Okay. Um, I will. I get two cards because I'm player one. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right, with shields, if they don't take the damage marked, does not do anything, correct? Correct. Okay, shields are strong. Yeah. So... So as of right now, um, it looks like you are guaranteed one damage from the shield bearer in round three. I'm block that. So yeah. I'm not going to take any damage there. He's going to gain a shield. They'll both have one shield. He's going to have two. Yeah. Um, so then the archer, if he's still alive in round three, will kill me. Okay. Um, I'm going to mark turn two on that one and then attack turn two on this one. All right. That I don't want to play. Then I'm going to risk it and I'm going to loot on round three. All right. Okay. Let's begin. Player one. Starting with a damage turn one. Um, you, you can flip both your cards. We we all reveal all at the same. Okay. So I'm going to attack turn one and then turn two. So Archer's dead. Oh, interesting. I'm going to mark second. Hey, look, a new follow. Seth. Hey. There he is. Hey, he found me. <laughs> um, because I'll hit him first round, hit him second round. He's dead. I'm gonna block his damage, so I won't take any damage from him. Does he have two health or three? Two. They both have two. Both have two. Okay. Um. So if I hit him once, next round, I'm gonna target. Next, next round, you could mark the other guy and then just hit the yeah, archer not do again. Anything anyway. Yeah. Okay. So you're looting in round three. That's the only other card I had. I could have. I All can't right. tell you what my other one is. All right. All right. It went to, it's, this, is, this is the best case scenario. Okay. So I'll hit the undead with my round one and then round one. And this card doesn't do anything. Okay. <clears throat> um, my situation here, now that I have the beginner's bow, my round one action on my card is nothing. So I will choose to do the round one action on the beginner's bow, which is dealing one damage to the second or third slot enemy. Yep. Shield so bearer takes a damage. We'll hit the shield bearer for one. Okay, he takes the damage. Um, and that's it. It's enemy's turn. Okay. Um, Archer does nothing, mm -hmm. and the shield bearer will gain a shield. Okay. The end of the round, poison ticks. There's no poison out there, and then they move up, which they don't because they are as far forward as they're going to be. Mm -hmm. So that begins round two. First player goes first, playing both my cards. I am going to mark the shield bearer with my round two. And then my round two on my next card, I'm going to damage. What's your card? Uh, I will be doing an attack. But unfortunately, neither of us have attacks on round three. So we have to kill the archer this gotcha. round. Okay. So I'll just hit him. Okay. And he's dead. We we gain a two. Goes in our bag. And then that is my go. Okay. I have an attack in round two, so I take out the shield. Shield's gone. Yeah. Um, it's Bummer. their turn. Bummer. So close. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's going to shield the enemy here. There isn't any, but he is going to shield himself. Mm -hmm. At the end of the round, he would take poison damage if he had it. This time he does get the move forward. Because we killed his friend. Yep. Round three. I do nothing with this card. I'm going to loot the cell. That's my go. 
I I also loot. Take nothing. I take nothing. <laughs> uh, enemy's turn. He's going to hit me uh, for one. I'll just take his. He's yep. going to survive anyways. And that's it. Yep. End of combat. There's no uh, round four effect. We don't gain his rest in peace token because we didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. And we're done. Okay. What's in the discard? I draw up to three again. Yep. Do you drop to three at end of combat? Yep. Is that what it was? Okay. Just from a skill check standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, okay, to the map. Guess what? We made it. We did it. So, Woo! we have successfully made it through the prisoner's quarters, and we have made it to the interbiome. The interbiome is like the safe zone in between two things. So that's where we would look at our mutations board, um, first and foremost. Yep. And the things that are unlocked at the moment are um, just in the bottom right. So really, if you wanted to fold it up to just show those dudes in the bottom, um, that might be a little bit easier. Boom. So they all, all are at level zero right now. So we can one time spend a tooth for somebody to heal a damage. Mm -hmm. um, the merchant, however many times there are, we will reveal that many treasures from the top of our treasure deck. And then that treasure will be, will cost that many teeth. So at this stage, we would reveal one treasure. It would cost two teeth to purchase that. So we, we get to see it. We do get to see it. So I'll flip one. Yep. But it would cost two to keep it. Correct. It's a cleaver. It's a cleaver. So we haven't seen this status effect yet. Um, when this skill happens, you can put bleed on somebody. At the end of round three, they die. Just, just explode. They just straight up, doesn't matter their health, doesn't matter their shields, they die at the end of round three. Uh, the downside is, is we have to survive to round three, <laughs> and that's kind of a problem sometimes. Yes. Um, the collector will also do the same thing with the bottom blueprint. So he will sure. reveal the bottom blueprint here, and we can purchase it for oh, four okay. teeth. Well, we know what it is, but we still got to follow. Yeah. Going through the motions here. Yep. Yep. Broadsword goes on to the collector. Yep. And now, okay. now we can spend our teeth. Okay. Well, we only have three, so I think um, we at least heal. Yeah, we definitely heal. Um, I have two hit points. Same. Or sorry, I have only have one hit point left. Yep. I think it's I think it's you again. Okay, we're gonna spend one to remove a heart. So now I have two health. Okay, we can only do that once. Yep. And then we gotta decide if we want the cleaver. Yep. And I think, like I... you said, if we, we're we're not gonna survive to see it be effective. Yeah. So we save save the teeth. Yep. All, All right. right. So the item will get discarded. Goes in here. The blueprint will go back on the bottom of the blueprint deck. Ugh, that kind of makes me want to cycle that a little more. Right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Now that we know. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. if we could get there, then yes. yes. So, <laughs> so now our interbiome thing is done. Now you mm -hmm. have the fun task of setting up the toxic sewers. Oh, all right. I do it. Okay. I know where my box is. It's behind me. Okay. You have my green screen. Don't look. Uh -huh. Not that you haven't seen anything back here. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, that little zoop. Just nothing you guys haven't seen before back there. Nope. Just a bunch of games. All right. Well, we can only go one way, right? Let's go to the map because I think we need a room. To go to the ramparts. Correct. We yeah. would need so we would need the case. vine rune in order to go to the ramparts. So at this stage in the game, we do not have any runes, so we have to go to the toxic sewers. The toxic sewers. Man, this is okay. I should have been. 
didn't anticipate us beating the got to slow place. down here <laughs> so the enemy so cards make, go into yeah, make it probably put the well okay so if we want to do another run we will have to start at the prisoners quarters so maybe instead of putting everything away gotcha it can be just put off to the side because we'll need to like reshuffle and set those things makes up. Makes sense. Makes sense. So the loot, the discarded loot, all goes back in there. Just the blueprints. The bl blueprints. What do you mean? Oh, that's right. I just put the loot in there, dude. Yep. Oh, that's fine. Beaver knife dance. Okay. Yeah. Only, only Blueprint. the blueprints go in the small boxes. Any unlocked equipment has its own little slot in the thing. Okay. All right, so that's done. That goes here. Toxic sewers. Comes out. We'll have to shuffle these up. I'm still hit or miss on these tuck boxes. Not sure how I feel. It's it's not I want, it's not great I'd, of a I'd rather have something like three D printed. Yeah. For things to actually I, fit, especially with sleeved cards. Yep. Uh elites, there's three of them here. Let's just shuffle three cards. It's always awkward. Mm -hmm. The rest of these get shuffled. Okay. Magic Moose Moo just followed. I didn't get a Woo! thing happen. I thought that uh I feel like that I feel like that should have happened me. like years ago. Yeah, a couple of years <laughs> ago. I just just had the notification for it. I don't know. Well, either way, thanks. Thank you for the follow <laughs> from Whenever that was. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few streamers I watch where I don't follow them. Like, uh, you know, I'll click on the category and I'll find that they're streaming. Oh, sure. I don't want to watch them, but. <clears throat> All right. Prisoner quarters goes away. In exchange. For. The toxic sewers. Yay. But hey, there's there's the concierge. There's our boss. Yeah. We start up top. We need B2 tokens. That is these. All right, we're done with this. Let's go back, I think. Yeah. Let's go hide back here again. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, background. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> B1s Let's give me some room to buffle these a little bit and then we'll build our map one second good and this one's got a lot more tokens it's got some fancy ones we haven't seen yet try not to cheat too much here Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. This one doesn't need to be shuffled because I assume that's always going to be in the same spot. All right, let's go left or right. So we need yeah, There's a door right off the bat. Another door up here. Let's do this one. There's a lot of symbols on here too. We'll have to clean me in. Mm -hmm. um, one more loot there. The Pentagon, two shops here, huh? Nope. I want all my shapes. Yep. That goes there. And then that goes there. I'm missing one up top. Mm hmm. Look, we're good. Okay. Put these away. It's kind of right. it's kind of sad that 
we're doing all this setup and then you know we're we may we're gonna just, die we and... may just die on the first thing I'm like well set up sure. the other thing again <laughs> all right um i'm player one i think we go into it right i got my cards yeah there's nothing really set up right now so we'll just move and yeah go to be, go to the first door here what do we got player one token changes okay um so you are now player one I'm and player then one. we got a symbol here of a tooth Followed by we gain discarding a tooth. card. And then that that symbol is the um oh, you can oh. somebody can discard a card and draw a new one. But since it has the like those fires, that represents the beheaded. So that means mm -hmm. everybody, each player can choose to discard a card and draw another gotcha. card. Gotcha. And again, I think I'm in a position where I don't know the game quite well what cards I'm fishing for, so I'll just stick with what I got. Um um, maybe. I don't do a lot of them. I, I am going to do that. It's going to cause me to shuffle, but that way I can maybe get a card that can block turn one. <laughs> I'm going to keep what I got, because I think my good cards have been discarded already. Okay. Is it one, discard one card, or could I potentially discard all three and then... Just one. Okay, yeah. No, nope, we're keeping what I got. Okay. Um, that's it for that tile. Okay. Easy peasy. Oh, I didn't even check to see. We could have went right too, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But That's those um, those toxic bits, uh, when we go across those, shows in the bottom left of the board that we do a deck check, where um, the first player will flip top card of their deck. If it does not have one of the three symbols, then we take a damage. Okay, I'm good because two of mine are in the discard pile. So yeah, all right. First enemies, let's bring it on over. First player changes. Okay. Back to you. Followed by two regulars. So this one's got the symbol, the buzz cutter. Normally you would start here, but up in the top right, it looks like he's got a starting location of way back here. Yep. And then this one, the kamikaze. We don't like them in the game. I know them. Yep. And then we have the potential of looting... So. Mm -hmm. so now that we're in this second biome, you'll notice that both of the enemies uh, drop a cell when they die. That's pretty mm. cool. Yeah. So it sort, sort of has that escalation of the further you get, the more stuff you get. I'm kind of looking at the symbol on the kamikaze so I know my icons. Uh, this means invisible. The enemy cannot be targeted for any action this round. Gross. Yeah. So a, a really cool thing about how the rules work um, is in the rule book, it says that the monsters take their action when it is their turn. Um, they don't call out invisible specifically because they don't really reference any of the symbols in the rule book. It's just on these player aids. Um, so what the rules as written would be on his turn, he triggers invisible and then can't be targeted by it for any action this round. But that doesn't really make any sense. So it seems to be the accepted thing of just that effect is in is an ongoing thing play. on that round. Yeah. It just, you know, doesn't follow the rules of the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> rules aren't super great in this if if you haven't noticed. Yeah. But it's it's still super fun, and once you can like get to what you're supposed to be doing, it's great. Okay. Um, there's also a new symbol on the buzz cutter. There is. Let's see what that does. So it's the damage, but it's times multiply hearts is what it looks like. Um, this says deal as much deal as much damage as the beheaded or enemy doing the damage has health points left. So, so he does so one damage, but it's times by the amount of health I have left. So they worded it great because yeah, we, that was we real, will kind of hard to read. <laughs> yeah, we will also eventually get cards that have that symbol on there. So what okay. it is, however much health they have, that's how much damage they do. So the more health they have, the stronger the hit. So right so, now he's hitting for what three? Yeah. Yeah. So we so he would hit. Okay. So if we do two damage to him, he'll only hit for one. 
That's all. Because it's a swarm. Yep. It's just, yeah, I read that wording like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Kamikaze yeah. will also, in round three, if he is still alive, will do three damage to somebody because he explodes and then he dies. He just dies. Yep. Thankfully, so we, <laughs> we would still get the cell. Yeah. But we so would I'm, also I'm, be dead. <laughs> my brain is still wrapping around this buzz cutter. So if we he does damage equal to the amount of health he has left. He has left, yep. Okay, so like you said, if you hit him for two, then he's only doing... Well, if you hit him for one, he's doing two damage. Correct. If you hit him for one, he's doing one damage. Yep. Um, all right, I'm player one. Yep. Two cards. We have a two health kamikaze and a three health buzz cutter. Um, I wish I would have shuffled my cards now. So, oh, uh, yeah. I can do. I can do. Um, well, I do have this beginner's bow that can hit the back row. Which is it was pretty cool, and the buzz cutter will move forward after the end of the first round. Yep. yep. So I am going to. Oh, that juicy um, cell to loot, though, too. I know. I know. I can. I could. I think it's kind of important, and I can potentially loot round one. But then I forego a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, Just keep in mind that we wouldn't be able to hit the kamikaze in round two. <laughs> you had to say that. <laughs> um, you can't be targeted, right? Yep. Yeah, nothing, nothing. You can't do anything to them. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was, that was a fun run. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, I am going to loot round one. Okay. And then round two. I mean, the, the buzz cutter will be in the second position in round two instead of the third, if that yep. if that helps. Um, hot dang. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to poison round two. That's like the most effectiveness I got here. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Um, we will get there because I'm going to attack in round three. Magic says, I have to get me a board game cam set up to play some virtual matches. Yes. The answer to that is yes. Faux show. Um, okay. We'll flip. Um, like I said, starting with me, I'm going to loot round one. All right. And then my second round one, I do nothing. Okay. What do you got? My round one on my card is blank, but I have the beginner oh. bow. So round one, I hit the buzz cutter for one damage. Yay. Okay. Takes the damage. Um, okay. It's their turn. Mm-hmm. Kamikaze doesn't do anything. Yep. Buzzcutter doesn't do anything. Cool. Um, but at the end of the round effect, um, Buzzcutter will move up one. Mm -hmm. And that is it. We move on to round two. Back to me, player one. So we know um, Kamikaze is now out of our range. Yes, yes. He is nowhere to be seen. Uh, my round two, I use my utility, which allows us to gain a tooth. See, I'm being... I'm being Fully effective without doing any combat. Yep. I'm going out with that. Uh, but then my round two, I poison. Kamikaze isn't there. I'm going to poison the buzz cutter. Perfect. Okay. What do you got? Uh, nothing. I got a blank. Yeah. Nothing. Yep. <laughs> All right. It's their turn. Round two effect. He doesn't do anything. Nothing. We assumed he would activate it, right? Is that That's what you were saying? Yeah. But it defeats <laughs> the purpose of it. Yeah. It, um, it would be useless no. otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Round two, nothing here. Um, end of turn. He's poisoned. Takes sure damage. is. Boom. 
Nope, no moving because everybody's close up. All right, round three. Um, my turn first because I'm player one. Nothing here. I do a damage on my round three. You kill that player, um, that player buzz cutter? I can if you'd like. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Ooh, what do we get? A cell. We get a cell. Look at that. We're swimming in cells. Yeah, baby. Grizz Tactics says, man, I totally forgot about this board game being made and also so angry that I couldn't chaos this game. 250 on eBay. Yeah, how much? Oof. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Yeah, definitely. I didn't get any. I don't think I got any extras. Like, a, I did the sleeves. Sorry, I added the sleeves, but that was it. Yeah, which really, the sleeves is apparently a mistake because the, the box yeah. insert <laughs> is... <laughs> Defeats yeah. the entire yeah. purpose of storage. You can you can fit it with sleeves. You cannot fit it with sleeves. You can't even fit everything without it bulging without sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> because yep. all these like map tokens are supposed to go in the little tuck boxes, and there are some that there are just too many tokens, and you yeah. it. The kind of reference. This is what. Oh, it doesn't show it. These little boxes. I don't have one out either. Are supposed to hold all your tokens and your cards, not sleeves. And no, even sleeved, when they're not sleeved, oh, they're sleeved. Sl they, right. they, they had said, sleeved. yeah, they had said in the campaign it was going to fit sleeved stuff. It absolutely <laughs> does not. It does not. Man, you got to put the tokens in there still, yeah. yeah. Too. A and... sleeved card fits in the box, but not. You're not. You're not yeah. doing all of it. No. Um, sorry. Anyway, um, we're okay. Oh, so I killed the guy. It's your turn three. Yep. Perfect. So my turn three. I've got this uh, big old clobber hit of oh. two damage that ignores shields in the first or second slot. Nice. So Guess I what? will smack that Thar Kamikaze. Hits him for two. Guess how much health he has. Uh, I hope it's two. It's two. Uh, yes. Look at that. We didn't even take a damage. Whew. Hot <laughs> diggity dog. And, and we, get we get a cell. Another cell. That's five. You could swap those out. For the big old five. Yeah, I'm going to, because we can. Um, there we go, the big old five. That does have the five printed on it. Uh, Magic says so many cells on your Excel sheet. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Seth has an idea for a way he could help us in our next run. I'm interested okay, in okay. ideas. All right. We have, we have defeated. So we discard our active cards and draw up new and then we're back to the map draw one i got a shuffle nope i saw the draw. i got one there i gotta draw one more and map yep okay Who's that to the map so all right new icon that we're seeing in the hallway this one is here yep so that is a hand check not a deck check. The question mm -hmm. mark that's like on the right side is the deck check. But the, the hallway, yep. The hallway that we are on is a hand check. It's saying that the first player could discard a card with that matching symbol in order to move down that hallway. If you Ooh. if you cannot do that or choose not to, you have to go a different way. So what we have to contemplate here is we have four teeth. Right? That's what we're going to go down there to spend. Correct. Or no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yep, it's whatever you dropped. Um, that might be worth. I Can I announce if I have it? Um, yes, you would You would have to discard the card from your hand, and then you'll okay. redraw. But, but like, is it, is it public to say, yes, I have it, should we do it? Yes. Okay. I do have it. Okay. But, it, but it's, a, it's a nice attack card. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could potentially get heals, heals from the thing, and then it would bypass a fight, and then we would go oh. directly to a treasure. Now that you put it that way. Yeah. I have that card. I okay. will discard it. All right. So I discard my card. It has the plus symbol in the top left. That unlocks this path. Let's just go down, Going down to the shop. To B2. All right, they're all B2, but... Okay. Oh, I didn't flip it over for everybody. Um, our opportunity here, it says we can do this two times Ooh. for one tooth. Heal of health. 
We can do it twice. I only need it once. I I have taken two damage. Okay. So, so maybe you do one, I do one? Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Two teeth. Remove one health from me, one health from you. Mm -hmm. All right. That stays over. Let's move yeah. on. Okay. B2. <laughs> player one switches. <laughs> you are now player one. And now... And player one gains a... What are those called? Those are called that survival, is survival scroll. scroll. Okay. So I'll, I'll go down here. My character is a little unique with the survival scroll. If we haven't figured out by now, the whole thing for this character is getting shields. So when I increase my survival, for everybody else, it increases their health. For me, it lowers my max health for this first one. Great. Yep. But at round zero, so at the very start of the fight, before anybody does anything, I get a shield. I always start with the shield. So I effectively have that health still, but, you know, right. that's, yeah, that's sort of the trade-off. Yeah. It's mainly because I can get more health than everybody else, and that's if my true. tactics is up, then I can gain even more shields. So... Yeah. Sure. So that's where a that's true at. tank. Yep. Um, back to the skill check. Do I draw a card back up to three? Yes, you do. Okay. You grab that. Okay. Um, now we're back over the map. Back over to the map. Now we got an option. Okay. So we can we can card check going down. Card check going right. So the right one's the tactic. The bottom path would be survival. Our top right is a new symbol. That's the toxic symbol. When a group passes through a corridor with this icon, the first player must perform a deck check, revealing uh, one of the symbols. If not, they fail and take a damage. Yep. So that's not ideal for us to do in the immediate. Um, right. But I do not have a survival card to discard. I do have... That is tactics, right? Yes. In that middle one? I do have a tactics card that I can discard okay. to let us I, go toward the treasure. I do as well. Is it open Like, Is it open it to... It is first player. Ooh, that's you. Yep. So, I like my card. Yep. So I... Oh. I'm discarding <laughs> I'm discarding my tactics card for us to go get that treasure. Let's get this treasure. Ooh, a blueprint or another Ooh. tactics. Ooh. Or survival. Or survival. Ooh. That gets you your health back, right? It does get me my health back. I think uh, unfortunately, even though the blueprints in this place are even better than the last place, and we still haven't gotten any in the last time. place, um, I think I have to take the survival skill to give me okay. that health back because my zero round shield won't help if I take damage from the radiation or from the poison in the next hallway because we're forced to go through that. And if I flip the top card and it doesn't have a symbol, I take a damage. If I don't have that extra health, I die. Gotcha. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yep. Okay. So unfortunate tactics but, yep um okay so now uh i have taken the survival scroll and gained my one health back to my normal starting um and now we are going through so i'm going to discard my card here <laughs> it is it does have a, a brutality, a brutality. so we do not take damage Perfect. Huzzah. We still move that way. Yep. We move we move along that path. Yeah, here we go. Flipping. And we got three enemies. <laughs> now we die. <laughs> now we die. And two two teeth to loot. Two teeth. Alright, let's flip them over here. One. Disgusting worm. Two. Field bearer. Oh boy. Three. Field bearer. Lots of shields. Okay. So it looks like you are I, player one. I also need lots of shields, huh? Yeah. Do so both of the these two will hit the shield you. Shield hit player one. Yep. 
And then this oh, one, he's it's, gonna poison somebody. He poisons and hits one target twice. Oof. Uh, he has three health, right? Yep, three, two, two. All right. Um, so I basically need to be able to withstand the attacks from the oh, when he when the worm bears. dies he does damage yeah but getting poisoned would wreck our day <laughs> if he were to die in round two does my shield block that damage it does Ooh. okay that's that's a good shout okay so i'm going to um attack in round two and attack in round two. Yeah, I'm not worried about the teeth here, so I'm gonna... I can mark in round two. You do go after me yes. because I'm first player. And that's a little less ideal. But if your but, second turn is an attack <clears throat> in the first position, uh, okay. It's it's in the cards. Um, I only get to play one. And if that's the case, we do that one. Not that I should take your reaction on Mark. <laughs> According to the rules, I'm not supposed to. No. But I think we're going to play that one instead. Okay. All right, so I have... Um... When we start off, round zero, I get a shield, which is right now. Mm -hmm. Round one, I get a shield, and then I trigger my skill, which is gaining a shield. Lots of shields. Now we're getting somewhere. That's it for round <laughs> one. My round two that is hitting um, the first position and hitting either first or second position. So I'll be dealing out two damage to close range on round two. Okay. Uh, my first round is my utility, which is gaining the tooth. Okay. That's it. Okay. Enemy's turn. The disgusting worm is going to hit one target twice. I'm assuming you. Yes. I will take both of those. I'll yep. probably I'll end up taking a damage from the other guys, but... Um, I'll still be alive. Yep. Um, then shield bearer goes, gains a shield. Mm -hmm. Second shield bearer goes, he gains a shield, and the person behind him would gain a shield. There's no one there. Yep. Okay. And the turn effect, poison, nothing. They would move down. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, round two. Uh, I put both my two damage onto the disgusting worm. Yep. And then... Your second card, or is that both? That's both. Okay, and then I will do one damage. I'm going to hit the worm as well. Mm -hmm. He's dead. On his death effect, we does do one damage. You want me to take it? It's round two. I don't take it because of shield. Yeah. And then we also gain a two. And we also gain a cell. Yes. I put, why did I put all the cells away? It's gone. <laughs> Assumed we were dead. Yep. Yep. And then that was your go. That's that's it for the rest of our turn. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, round two, they go. Yep. Um, he's going to put a shield on his buddy in front of him. There's no one in front of him. He's going to put a shield on himself. Lots of fields here. And then one on his buddy behind him. That's that. 
-hmm. And then this guy, to round two effect, is going to gain cubits. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. There. End of the turn. <laughs> Guess who no we're poison. not killing. <laughs> yeah. They move up. Round three. Nothing from me. Same here. Okay, the enemies go. Um, they're going to hit you for one. I have one shield left. I block okay. that. This one's also going to hit you for one. I take that damage. Oof. I have one, okay. hit, one hit point left. And turn, if anybody was poisoned, they'd take a damage. Anybody was bleeding, they would die. Any round four effects, there are none. That we, is the game. We made it through. Yay. These guys go away. He's out of here. I gotta shuffle and draw. Discarded. I need one card. And we go to the map. <laughs> okay. We're getting so far. Mm hmm B two, here we go. And you don't know what this symbol is. It's 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 uh, bad. Elite. <laughs> Let's bring it over. Let's bring it over. Here yeah. we go. Uh I am now player one. Thank God. <laughs> we get our first elite. Yep. And it is the kamikaze. Oh no. Um, he goes in the front. And then we get a regular. Mm -hmm. He goes in the second position. And then our loot is a tactic scroll. Tactic okay. scroll. How much health does that kamikaze have? Three. Three? Hmm. Chris says, this is such an interesting way to do battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, these, these teeth go away. I didn't remove those. Yep. Okay. It's so unique that I like. I feel like it goes quick, and I'm like already discarded my cards. I'm like, oh, and keep them out. <laughs> yep. Just three rounds. Yeah. All right. Um. Wow. So he hits two different targets one time, then does it again. Then he just dies. Yeah. Yeah. Not not great. Not, not ideal. Um, um I can block that damage. Yep. And I'll start off with a shield because of my round zero thing. I think I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm going to doesn't... I'm going to loot in round three. Okay. And I am going to attack in round two. Uh I'm, oh, I'm player one. Oh crap! All right, never mind. You will take your actions. <laughs> that I will. <laughs> I am going to mark in round two. Target marked. Target marked. Okay. What is it? Marked in round two, and then I will. Oh, do I want to loot? Do you want to loot? Your tactics, what does your tactic give you on the second level up? Um, I can, when doing a skill, I can gain a gold shield, which can oh, be used. Oh, it goes in the bag anyways. That's right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then, yeah, afterwards. And mine, mine says, if I use my utility, I could spend a tooth to do damage to anybody. So you don't have to spend skill for that? Skill is just to gain a tooth. Once you have the next thing unlocked, oh, then you you can take your round three action or your yeah round three action or spend a tooth to do a damage. Yeah. Round three. Ugh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Mark second. I will. I will loot round three if that. Okay. That. It's okay. Sounds wonderful. I will attack in round two. <laughs> okay. Flip. All right. Starting with me because I'm player one. I'm going to attack. Actually, actually oh. I ha I have a zero round action. So I will, oh, gain, right. I will gain a shield. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> round one. Yep. Um, I will attack, I think, the... If I hit the kamikaze, I mark this... second round in hopes that you're hitting round two. And I think that's what you said. I am hitting round two for one. 
So I'll be I'll be gaining a shield on the first round and then hitting for one the person in the front slot for okay, one. Perfect. I'm gonna use my damage against the kamikaze. Okay. And then I do nothing on this card. All right. So that's your go. Uh, my card, just for real quick here, is skill on one and then attack first position on turn two. I'm gonna use yep. I'm gonna use the skill to get a shield as opposed to using the bow to hit the zombie. Alright. Uh actually, hang on. Ooh. Hang on. Let's see something. Yep. If if I have one shield, I can take the hit from the zombie, and I would do one damage to the zombie. Then if you mark and take I was gonna, I'm gonna mark oh, here. Yeah, I I will I will use the bow instead of the um, instead of the shield and I will hit the zombie for one. Yep. Zombie takes the damage. Yep. Yep. And that's your go. That's my go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Enemy enemy goes. Kamikaze does nothing on turn one. Mm-hmm. Zombie's gonna hit for one. I have a shield. You have a block. shield. You will block. End of turn, no one's poisoned, nobody moves. Okay. Round two. Um, I will mark this guy because then I will hit him. Um, I can only reach the guy in the front, so if you can yep. hit that zombie yep. instead. I'll take this guy and he's dead. Nice. We don't gain anything from him because he's a loser. Yep. But yep. we also don't take extra damage, so that's, that's a true. Um, and that's my go. Okay. My round two, I hit the person in the first position for one damage. One damage. He's marked, so he takes another damage. Guess what? He gone. Zero health left. He gone. And what's his reward there? Um, gain a survival scroll. Nice. That goes right into our bag. Um, even though the enemies are dead, combat still has to finish out. Yeah, it does. Guess what? We decided to loot. Heck all right. Yeah. End of turn effect. No one moves. They're all dead. Round three. I do nothing here. I'm going to loot the tactic scroll. Yeah. What's your round three? You got anything? No, I got nothing. Okay. Let's end the combat. Yep. That was fun. <laughs> that was that was good. That was Why can't we good. do that more often? <laughs> I know, right? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now Those we get now we get these scrolls. Okay, so let's go your player board. Let's see. Let me see what I do with these here. So on my survival, I just gain one health, yep. which we know is pretty valuable. Mm -hmm. um, my tactic scroll, we kind of reviewed it already, um, would allow me on turn three to huck a tooth at an enemy for damage, but it can be any slot. Yep. But round three, we were kind of thinking, meh. Yeah. Um, and then for mine, I'm already at two damage. If I do a survival scroll again, I will get two more health, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty good. And then my, my tactics, I could get a gold shield on my skill triggers. Um, a gold shield says gain one golden shield token, discard to block one damage or a stat state a status. Okay. Yeah. Do so, you block it from gaining it or do you block like the damage? You block from gaining it. Gaining it. Okay. So if somebody's like, hey, you get poison, you're like, nah. Nope. No. Nope. Not today. Not today. Okay. Um, so I mean I don't want to be like, give me all the stuff. Well, I'm like the health token seems cool, but you're almost dead. Yeah. And I'm not too worried about round three effects right like off the top of my head, but who knows? I mean, we have, we have four, but we're also probably going to spend it here. Yeah. So I am okay with you taking both. Okay. I will allow it. All right. Look at that tank. Yeah, we're we're ready to ready to eat some damage. <laughs> the um, the first trigger on brutality says mm -hmm. can can take damage instead of first player. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
All right. Okay. Um, Guess what? I got to set up. Sort of. Sort of. So first we go to the enter biome. Enter biome. Oh, this guy. Yep. Um, so just like before, we get one top card from the equipment deck available for purchase. Yeah. The repair. Okay. Quick question. What is the last position for it? Enemies can spawn behind us, and it kind of gives them first turn initiative because you always go left or right. Um, I don't, as far as I know, I don't think they can jump over. Not unless but... they have a specific effect. Um, okay, so go. far, it has only been uh, specifically if it shows that icon, they go in the front. Yeah, so they would start here, and they would go first before we do, followed by this. And they, they don't move at the end of turn effect. They don't move past that. They would always stop in front of you. Yep. And we can still target this with cards. I think I I think every one of mine actually can hit that spot. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's just kind of like a first priority, first initiative. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we got the rapier on turn three. Um, one damage. It does one damage twice if whole if whole is in combat. So, a cool thing about this game is them not telling you things in the rules. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't um, know what a whole is. Yeah. So one of the like biggest questions that uh, I was seeing out there was about this card because this is this was like oftentimes people's first item that they got they're like what is this hole for um in the ramparts area there is a another token that goes on the back end of the board in that empty spot this is a wall slash hole token interesting that this is where it's mentioned in the book That's and what that token is. okay there will be specific encounters i guess that will that, tell you that, to put that there that's what's in that, that. On the spot? yep oh so like the game you you would back them into the wall and it would cause additional damage yeah because you're you're hitting them against the wall i see yeah but so, why call it a hole that's weird uh because one side is a wall of that token the other side is a hole so it's like a drop off so it's like you're knocking yeah. them off the edge Okay. Um, it just it doesn't make sense why they would put this item in the starter deck and not like in the ramparts where it would actually have the oh, relevant thing. So cool. Hmm. <laughs> we Thanks. won't be encountering a hole anytime soon. Um, and then let me set this down because we are going to grab the bottom blueprint mm -hmm. for the sake of grabbing the bottom blueprint. And that is the swift sword. What did I do with the other one? Uh, that goes all oh, goes in discard. Yep. Uh, we okay. we didn't we didn't purchase the other one. <laughs> we have gained no blueprints so far. <laughs> all right. Um, so we have four teeth. I have full health. I can heal one if you want. So if we heal, if I heal one, then that exnesis. Yes. Turn two, we should probably read what it does. Swift Sword. On turn two, it does a damage. It does two damage to one target if player one. So if you're, hmm. if you're player one, it hits turn, for two. Turn two is pretty good. Yeah. So downside about purchasing blueprints. Yes, it will be unlocked for all future runs and everything. But when mm -hmm. you purchase a blueprint, it goes on top of the treasure pile. You don't get that item oh. immediately. It'll be the next item that you get. Oh. So even though that would be a great item to use in this upcoming fight, that would be much better than my beginner bow. Um, yes. That will not help in the immediate. Okay. Um, so are you more enticed to heal? I think given our current state and like level of all of our stuff and everything 
it will be fairly unlikely that we will defeat the boss. Even with that one heal, I would be more inclined to say unlock a cool item that you can then see in future runs. Okay. So that unlocks. That goes on the top. Top of the treasure deck. And that stays in that treasure deck forever. Yep. Until you reset the game. Yep. Rapier will go into the discard. Mm -hmm. And that is that. Okay. <clears throat> so, moving to the concierge, uh, we now have a... That's going to be a separate one of these mm -hmm. player mm -hmm. aids. Mm -hmm. And then the concierge box. We don't need a map, but we will need that top board so we can, we can maintain on this view here uh, because we will still have a deck for um, the car, cards and discard and a... Um, blueprint deck gotcha okay concierge moose entertain the crowd <laughs> all right toxic sewers goes away i'm just gonna put them on there it's fine well there's only should only be one elite right there yeah this game is real fun. It was definitely frustrating on kind of the initial learning stuff for it cuz then most of the most of the how to play videos are from the prototype a year ago and I'm gonna go grab my kid real quick. Okay. Most of it is still the same, but some of it like there used to be food that you would pick up and then that would be a resource kind of in your backpack that um, you could use to heal. And now we have the vials. And the vials aren't a um, like a consumable that you can save. They have to be used immediately. But we don't just have that like meat anymore. Um, so some of the stuff has changed from the prototype. Most of it's still the same. Um, but the yeah the rule book was not super great so between watching some of those older videos and experimenting playing the game for a bit and reading through the rules and going on like board game geek stuff um they were kind of able to parse together all of the things there's even a a rule in this upcoming fight if we get there I'm not sure if we will tonight but um if we get to that point I'll have Blunder, or I'll, I'll read the the rule thing from the instruction manual so everybody can see what we're supposed to do. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense. And I've, I've kind of gone back and forth a lot on it as to what you're supposed to do. And, um... Yeah, I we'll see what we'll see what Blunder says if we get there, um, because it's another one of those things where this is probably going against the rules that have been established in the game already, and like I don't know how you would know that it's different because um, it it should be like you know here are the symbols this is what they do at these particular times. Uh, that should be universal, you know, and and instead it's like start a new round of combat. Was well, that right away, or do we finish the current round? Like what? I don't, I don't get it. Like are our cards immediately discarded? Do we lose the effects of the rest of the thing, even though we wouldn't if we died? And I don't know. It's it's real weird and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So we kind of go by like. It feels like this is what we're supposed to do. Um, for instance, when you when you defeat them, and the the death effect is victory for the boss, uh, you get the death effects right away, always. 
but it also says you finish out the round. But that victor of that death effect is victory. So I guess you don't finish out the round in that instance. I don't know. It's it's weird. So we'll see. We may be we may end up doing it wrong, or not not the way the designers had intended it. But that's just that's just the way it goes. Sometimes you know. The important thing is that we're having fun. I think I think that's first and foremost the biggest thing that we're having fun. And hopefully you guys are having fun watching this. I don't know how long Blunder is going to be, but you know, that's that's the way it goes sometimes with children. Especially when like we are on duty of if the if the kid is having an issue, you know, that's more important than this. So we got to do what we got to do. So Seth, if you're still here, what do you what do you think of uh, of the dead cells, or what was your idea for um, helping for the next run? Was it that like you have the game also and wanted to do a three player situation? It's a good game. I agree. I agree. And this is one of the best, the best things to do here is getting one of these. I, I, this was like an extra one that I had and I unfortunately didn't have any more dividers. Um, so I couldn't really do that, but just even this and having this just off to the side is so nice. <laughs> it's so much easier than dealing with tons of piles on the table or, like a bunch of yeah, guys, component trays you or whatever. You can't see it, but there's my pile. <laughs> it's just oh, yeah. laid out everywhere. <laughs> Big old pile. Yeah. Um, the Tabletopia version, um, I think it is, or it's, it's, it's not a prototype, but it is not the full thing. So you really would only be able to do like the first couple of deals and that's it on that because they they aren't going to put the entirety of the game in that it's like just enough to maybe do like the oh, first man. couple of cards or so from each of the side decks i'm gonna put the map away later i'll get these cards out you said that's all we need it's just the cards and then yep there's no boss board nope okay then i remember okay Goodbye, board games. That's cool. I like I that. I just need to put it on, I need to like put it on a motor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get his cards out. So we're not doing another run after this, is what you're saying. What yeah. Like. Okay. No. I mean, I could. Yeah, it's, I could. It's. It's getting kind of late. We're doing too well. Uh, of course, we're going to unlock stuff, and you'll be like, ooh, well, maybe just one more. Yeah, maybe one, <laughs> one more. more one. Do I, I don't know, do I shuffle these? Um, so there are uh, there are three cards that are dual, double-sided. Those yep. cards start in play. The rest of them are shuffled. Don't shuffle the blueprint deck. Yeah, didn't do that. There's two of these. Do they start on, how do I know which side they start on? Um, oh, is it in the picture there? The flames are the same, um, and they just start in those given positions. Uh, and then we want not the angry side. Yeah, we don't want to start angry. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll, we'll shuffle the shuffle the rest of his deck, and that's it. Yes, Seth, I have the full game as well um it was just easier for one of us to do most of the things um so uh i i'm just using like my components for from my stuff 
but we're utilizing his thing. Like I've played it more, so I have more. Like I, I already had the Swift Sword in the deck here, the kitty. Um, so I don't want to show any of those because I have more stuff unlocked, which is why we went with Blunder's copy too to, yep. to start at the beginning. Okay, I think I got it all. Ready to go? That is a good point, though, Seth. If ow, don't bite me, you rascal. Um, if uh, I could, I could maybe have time for like a solo run. Ouch! After. Blunders. So, I kind of yeah, it kind of raises the question. Like we're playing together now. Like, what? How do I go back to single player? Uh, it's just all the same. This is one that you, it doesn't matter if other people come in. Um, you'll just have things unlocked that are just a part of the game. Okay. Moving forward. So like playing solo when, when we, whether we win or lose this fight, we will mm -hmm. then go and resolve all of the cells to unlock or like do more some of those cards yep. some of those may be put on the mutation board for future things um, and yeah then then it can basically be put away at that point and then let's say you and I come back tomorrow and you're three hours further into it than I am we would just we would go just with your, my board. yeah, with your stuff. Okay. I was, okay. I was wondering about that. If like, since I'm, because it's like, it's like dice our own adventures where we like, we shared the loot or we didn't share the loot. Like yeah. that's what I'm afraid of running into. Is we both draw beginner's bow. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why I had you draw the thing, and then I just grabbed it from my deck. Right. right. Um, the biggest, the the thing that I was going back and forth on was. Since I'm playing the game, um, even though I'm at like a lower level, basically, than where my characters are at in mine, do I still keep the cells that we've earned and unlock stuff in mine based on what we have earned? Gotcha. That would be separate from yours. I think I will probably do that. Yeah, I think there's there's plenty to unlock in this game that Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna bend that rule a little bit. Yeah. So we will probably each spend ourselves in our own game. I won't do that on stream, though, because I am further along and I don't want to spoil some of that stuff for Blunder. So, um, yeah. Anyway, boss fight. All right, let's do it. Okay. So, fun um, oh, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. You're the, you've done this more than <laughs> I have. So. Fun, unique thing about this boss fight there are those fire strikes in play. You can see in the upper left where would be health, there is no health. It is a loot icon. In order to get rid of a fire strike, you have to take a loot action and then you can eliminate one of the fire strikes. So that's kind of cool. Okay. The, these cards also have immunities in this. So there are various status effects that cannot affect that person, like targeted on the concierge. That's kind yeah. of a bummer. Yeah, it is. Um, so he can't be targeted, bled, or burned because he's like using fire and stuff. Burn we haven't encountered yet. If you get one burn token, nothing happens. If you get a second burn token, you immediately die. <laughs> yeah. Not super great. So that's why the boss is immune to that. Similarly, with bleed, at the end of round three, you die. Boss isn't going to be able to have that happen boss is yeah. susceptible to poison which is cool um, but not marked there's also no mention in the rules about stack limit so mm. uh, there is an example of having two poison tokens to then take two damage at the end of each round which is cool um, but that's that's kind of where we are at so the concierge has seven health, and then the fire strikes are just a lootable thing. The concierge and that second fire strike also have a card symbol. When that resolves, we will draw the top card of the concierge deck 
and resolve its effects. Um, this is also not a one cycle fight. So after we go through round three and potentially round four, if there are any of those effects, our cards will discard, first player token will pass, and then we will do a new round. In that new round, though, we will start at, at one, not zero. So even though I get this shield at turn zero, it's only going to happen the one time at the beginning. Yep. Until we defeat him, and then, but we'll get to there. I talked, I talked a little bit about that while you were gone, Blunder, that there's a really dumb thing in boss fights that the rules are not good on that I don't know the right answer to. Okay. So we'll experience right. that in seven hits. Yeah. So if we're ready in player one. Yep. Um, I am going to... So if you loot these, they go away. Correct. And is there potential of them coming back? There's potential. Potential. Okay. I will... So you'll notice that the first one, um, when that is looted, you get burned. Yes. But my shield will block that damage. Uh, burn does not do damage. Sorry. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> um, I'm more intrigued to get this one out of here with that um, drawing the card. Um. So in that case, I'm going to loot round three. Okay. And poison round two. Ooh, nice. Um. All right, then. Oh well. All right, I will. Oh yeah, this is fine. Mm, sure. All right, I will. Uh... <laughs> it's probably not what I want to do. I will loot round one. Yeah. All right. We'll flip and. Here we go. So round zero, I gain a shield. Yep. And for my round one, I do absolutely nothing. Uh, well, the first fire takes its turn before oh, us. Oh, that's right. It's the first one. Yep. It does nothing. Mm -hmm. Now it's our turn. I do nothing. Okay. Uh, How about you? My card, I have a loot turn one and then my skill. So my idea here is I'll loot the fire in front of us, and then on the second round I can do skill and get the gold shield, and then when you loot the fire behind us, I can block that fire token. Okay. 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 All right. So, so you're gonna loot. So I will loot the, the this one. Yep. That, that gives us gone. gives us a tooth. Yeah, they can just go in the discard or whatever. I think that's it for us, right? That's it for round one for us, yep. And then his round one, mm -hmm. he's going to draw a car. Correct. Oh. Stab. He's going to hit someone and ignore shield, suffer one unblockable thing. What a jerk. Jerk. That should still probably I be can take me. It. We, we, mm -hmm. have this, we have the same amount of health left right now. Um, so I think I will take this one yep. because I can block future ones. All right. Okay. At the end of the turn, anybody poison takes damage, they move down. Okay. Round two. Round two. Fire is going to hit someone. In round two. 
in round two. Um, I'd take that. With your shield? Good idea. I have a shield. Oh, you're going to block the fire. That's right. You have your old wooden shield. Oh, that's right. Duh. <laughs> old reliable. Yeah. yeah. And we don't take any damage. Okay. Then it's our turn. Mm -hmm. Um, on my round two, I will do a damage when I hit hit this, this guy. Yep. And then this round two, I'm going to poison. Okay. My round two, I gain a gold shield. Nice. Because I have increased that tactics level. All right. We went. That's his turn. He's going to do a damage. I will take the damage with my regular shield. Okay. That's the end of the turn. Um, he is poisoned, so he will take one damage. Okay. And that's it. Round three. Round three. The fire does nothing. Mm -hmm. It is our turn. On my turn, I loot. Um, I will loot that fire. Okay. In exchange for you to use your golden shield. Yep. Right? To stop that fire. Because the... Um... That death trigger of fire is is put it on somebody. It's not doesn't have to be the person that looted it. So we can choose me, and then I can block the state with my golden shield. Perfect. Okay. Then it's our turn. Or it's still okay. our turn, sorry. Yep. Um I'm gonna hit the boss. Okay. For one. Alright. I do nothing do nothing on round three. Nothing round three. Okay. His turn round um, three. Uh, he takes a damage from poison. What does he do on round three? Oh, sorry. He's got to do first. If there are three or four players, draw a card. There's not. There's not. There's so only two. Doesn't do anything round three. Neat. Yep. Okay. End of the turn. He's poisoned. He'll take a damage. Mm -hmm. And he's not bleeding. Wow. Boss could bleed and die, but he's immune to bleed. That's right. And no turn four effects. Okay. So now our cards get discarded. We draw back up. And first player passes to me. On you go. Um, okay, so I'll be playing two cards. Uh, and we're just... Um, he flips on death. Does health tokens reset? Okay, so... Did I encounter the part? <laughs> So I'm, the robot. I'm going to read. All right. So we know that when, um, when an enemy is defeated, this is like the most confusing thing here. Okay. Killing a monster. It says when you've killed a monster, immediately take its death bonus, which is all the items indicated in the death space at the bottom of the monster card. Blah, blah, blah. Mm hmm. Okay, once this is done, remove the card from combat board. Okay. Uh, if all monsters have been killed, combat's not over, because things that can still happen. Okay, sure. Boss death. When you have killed the boss, damage tokens on their card equal to their health. Remove all states from the boss, so he'll lose his poison. And flip the boss card over, revealing the new instance of the boss. That's the angry concierge. Okay. This is considered a new combat, so you must also remove all states from the beheaded in combat. You will also play round zero again. Once you've defeated all the instances of the boss, you've won. So, my question is, since that thing, that death effect happens immediately that you flip the card, right? Mm -hmm. So then, do we still continue the round to the end? And then at the start of the next round, it's a new thing where we get the round zero bonus? Or does the round just immediately end and then we start a new round? But then do we use the same cards for that round because we haven't resolved everything on those cards yet? Sure. Or did those get discarded and then we get new? This is... I can't find anything online about this at all yet. Grizz says it says new battle happens, correct? When flipped. This is, this is 
This it's is considered the new, a new combat. So, so in so, my eyes, you would. It, it, it sounds like you would reset your cards. So you must also remove all states from the beheaded in combat. You will play round zero again. So if we kill him in round one, but we wanted to do a thing in round three, just too bad. Even though yeah, you're just combat, combat always finishes the round, even if somebody's <laughs> dead. Uh, I hate it so much. <laughs> In my eyes, it sounds like you would just discard your cards. You lose your whatever turn effect. Okay. We can go for that. When but I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. When I watched the playthrough from a year ago with the prototype... Mm-hmm they had just continued the round like they defeated him in round two he flipped over and then on his activation he did his round two activation oh i see so they continued the so like they continued from round two from that same thing but the thing specifically calls out that it's a new thing and you get your turn zero effects so so everybody that, should reset. That feels like you shouldn't start in or continue in that thing. Right, right. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know. I think you, I think you start fresh. I don't know. Okay. So we all right. So here it is. Mm-hmm. We're we've gone through our actions. We've hit him. It initiates a cutscene. Yeah. And that resets everybody's position. Yeah. Like I, I hit him for three damage. These cards go on my discard. We flip. I draw to three because it's a new combat. And then we just start over. Okay. Sounds good. As long as we're on the same page as to what we do. (laughs) Yeah. Because it's not a great rule book. (laughs) Okay. Um, Then I'm doing two things here. Yeah, so we... Yeah, we did his thing. It's back on us. Player one token changed. So now we're back to... Yeah. So I will... Um, I'm going to shield in round one and attack in round one. I will attack in round three. Okay. What's up, Mud Turtle? Welcome. There he is. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Um, I have a shield, so I will gain a shield, and then I will do one damage to the concierge. One damage. He is now up to five damage. Okay. Um. You're right. I did not. I did not calculate that at all. I'm not doing anything for two rounds. (laughs) Um. Okay. So you his... did your stuff, I did my stuff. He's going to do his thing. Yep. Round one, he draws a card. Okay. Oh. So that goes behind him. Okay. Oh, it goes uh, behind him. That's right. Yep. Personal uh, thing. Um, so and then does that, does that get his turn? Here's a sucky thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the boss was resolving his action, and that put another dude in. And we go from left to right. So now that guy gets his first action. Yep. yep. Um, the good news is, though, is if it says if there's three or four players, you would get a burn. Okay. I'm so glad. in this case, we're good. I'm glad. All right. Um, that's the end of the round. At the end of turn effect, he takes a damage from poison. He is now up to six. Mm-hmm. And we go to round two. Okay. Uh, I hit him for one. You hit him for one. Guess what? That's his full... We flip. Yep. That comes oh. off. That comes off. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was thinking since you have the, the loot in round three, if we could, stall it by not attacking. But oh, you're know. looking at the wrong card. Oh, you're right. I, I you're attack right. in round three. Okay. Yep. All good. Uh, flip flip okay. this. So he. He flips, <laughs> and our cards go away. Yes. <laughs> um, it didn't technically end the round, so I would imagine first player does not change. 
Starts a new combat. Starts a new combat, but not a new turn okay. in the we... combat. <laughs> so then you would just go well, again? I think um I think it's on the concierge board or uh, that player aid sheet there that you have out somewhere. I think it says on there about first player passing. Or maybe it's in maybe it's in here. Um, it just says give the first player token to a player of your choice. A turn. Okay. Boss It'll combats take place over a number of turns. A turn is a com is all combat rounds from one to four. Round zero is only played at the beginning of combat and at the beginning of each new instance of the boss. Once you reach the end of round three or four, begin a new turn uh, by drawing drawing your hands back, giving the first player token to the following player in turn order, and then play the cards face down. Beginning of combat, beginning of each new instance of the boss. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Yeah. Because so at the beginning of our last combat, we didn't change players. We only change players at the end of the round. Right? We didn't go into the concierge switching players. No, like that's, if it's that's, a new only, that's only for the boss that you switch every set. <clears throat> Otherwise, for the rest of the run, it's just when that symbol is on the things. Um, so it's new combat. We're gonna say that we reset rounds. Yep. So we discard cards. We do since we do the draw and then pass, we do pass the first player token. Yes. Okay. You Up are three. You are now first player then. Pass and we'll go. Interesting. It's something. Yeah. I am going to loot round one okay. and target round two. Oh, it's a mean target. target. I will then it doesn't matter. I'm going to It doesn't matter. I'm gonna. What's his victory? What's his victory? It is three cells. Three cells and a blueprint. And the first time you defeat him, you get the exploration rune and you get the bottom card from the deck of secrets. Ooh, Ooh it's over there. It's eyeballing me this whole time. Mm, yep. Um, okay, we'll just do this one. So then I will damage round two. Okay. I will shield on round one. Yep. It's turn zero again. Turn so zero. I gain a shield. I will take my turn. Mm -hmm. We're resetting round one. Yep. I'm going to loot the fire. Gonna loot that fire. Upon death, I gain a cell. Yeah, we do. Um, and then my second round, I'm using my utility gill or a two. Yay. <laughs> Yay, two. <laughs> my round one Which action. Says, Ooh, secrets. Mm -hmm. My round I one action well. is gain a shield. I spoiled it because I sleeved them the wrong side up. Oh, no. <laughs> but I've seen some of them. I'm like, whatever, I'll, I'll forget by tomorrow. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Um, it's his turn. Yep. So round one, he's going to do a damage. You want to use your shield? I can use a shield. Beautiful. Um, and then he's going to draw a card. Oh, leap. Um, Ugh. What, is that? what is that? Remove shields? Uh, it says it underneath. All beheaded, all beheaded discards all their shield. 
draw a new card. Oh, it surges. Yep. What? <laughs> a croc. <laughs> oh, another fire. Um, that one will attack round two, and it targets player one with burn. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, fire goes because it now landed behind the boss and it does nothing. Yep. And then we're good. Okay. No one to turn effects, so then it falls back on us again. Mm -hmm. Round two. I will gain another two. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> and then my round two, I can attack. I will attack the boss for one. Okay. My round two, I also hit the boss for one. Yep. There we go. Then it's their turn. The boss we're is going to we're fourth of attack. the way there. Boss is gonna attack. You have no shields, right? I have no shields. Okay. Good thing Maybe you have I'll a just... wooden shield. I have a wooden shield that'll block one. Um, but then we draw a card. Mm -hmm. ah, another fire. Great. Um that's it there. Um, round two of the fire is going to take a damage. You want me to take it or do uh, a deal of damage? Yes. Okay. And then the new fire we just drew is going to draw a concierge card. Mm -hmm. Force field. Shield plus shield times fire strike. The concierge means <laughs> one shield plus one shield per fire. Ouch. <laughs> I need my poison card. Yep. That ends that card. And the turn effects, nothing happens. Um, round three. I do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Same. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Boss goes. He's going to hit everybody for one. Okay. I have one health left. Okay. Me too. Okay. Um, second fire is going to burn you. Uh, you are first player. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna burn you. <laughs> Tried to pass that off. It's a burn token, look like fire. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it's orange. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're burned. Um, and then last fire doesn't do anything. And the turn effects, nothing happened. Back to round one. Okay. First Start cards. First player goes to me. To you, good luck. I don't have any shield, <laughs> so yep. There's my poison. We can throw that poison turn two. Actually, yeah, shields are rough. Yep, or do it. No, let's not jump the gun here. I'm gonna. I'm going to loot turn three and, um, what's the, what's the goal on? Like if it's full attack turn three. Oh, you just get burned. If you can't play the next fire strike. Mm -hmm. Um, ah, that changes things. Cause I kind of want to clear that board. <laughs> if you can, <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I, mean, it, I will I will loot turn three I, as well. Yeah, I I don't think it matters because we both have one hit point left and I yeah. can't I can't shield the thing. Yep. Did not did not draw a shield. Let's flip. I um, do nothing turn one. I can shoot a fire for zero damage on turn one. <laughs> Um, that's it, huh? Yep. So constant. Right. Well, okay. So technically, we finish out the round. Yep. Um, so, so if you, um, if you, uh, I'll take the damage. Okay. I'm dead. So you technically, have, yeah, you have now died. Um, he's gonna draw a card. Mm. Shout. Ooh, what's that symbol? Um, a player must discard it, their active card. Wow, that just ends my turn, huh? Uh, is that... Does that's that have for the player one, for you. Crown on it? Okay. 
Neat. The first player discards their active combat card. All right. I discarded one of my cards. That second flame's going to do a damage. Well, uh, it's turn one. Sorry, it's turn one. We skipped Fire Strike. Yep. All in all. Okay. Right. Uh, round two. Round two, I do uh, damage to the guy to take off a uh, shield. A uh, shield. Yay. I, too, will take off a uh, shield. Um, you don't uh, have any more effects because you are dead. That's true. I tried. I tried. Um, okay. He's going to do a damage. <laughs> He's looking for any way out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take a damage? Uh, no. Okay, we're dead. Yikes. Yep. That's the whole point, though. Yep. I'm kind of impressed we made it even that far into that fight without anything being unlocked from <laughs> from our first run. <laughs> okay, we die. Yep. Um. So... We lose the teeth. Yep. Teeth are gone. Basically, everything can be... Well, actually, leave the... Um, don't, teeth. don't put concierge stuff away yet. Yep. Uh, the, the teeth can go. Um, and, like, our items can go back in the, in the deck. There's... I don't remember when it is, but one of the cards at some point says take the take the bottom blueprint of the place you were just where you died at. Um, so that's the only reason why I would say don't put the concierge completely away. I don't think you're going to hit that card, but maybe. Yep. So in the meanwhile, those other decks can all come out, maybe onto the yes. onto the board. So Let's pull these out here. Go away. The shield can go away. That's that's gone. Yep. Your bow goes away. Yep. Um, so we got the brutality deck. We have the tactics deck and the survival deck all coming out in order. Um, should I wait on FOMO on eBay prices? I would wait because it seems like a lot of Kickstarters nowadays are doing like second prints. And yeah. you, know, you could potentially get yourself a better rule book. <laughs> yeah. In that I, know, sense. I know some people, some people also are like so upset about the storage solution for the game that some people are not wanting to even keep the game because of that. Oh, I'm not that. No, I'm not that. Yeah. that I am. It that is feels, kind of weird though. That feels a little extreme. I'm, I'm also unhappy with the storage solution. Uh, mainly because of lies, but you know, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say give it a little bit of time. There may be some yep. shops, like local shops, that got copies. Also, um, I know one of the shops near me will do Kickstarters. I'd like the retail pledge, and then have some for their shelves. So that could be a thing to look into too. I think there's. I don't know the names, but I think there are websites too where people kind of take an example of the retail pledge, but then they sell you the pledge. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah. They'll Kickstarter it and then they'll offer you like X dollar to, to buy the right for that pledge or something. I don't know. It's weird. I went, I wouldn't personally do it, but I would just wait. I think, I think they'll do a second print. It did well. So yeah, I think they might, might release it again, but anyways, all right, so we have seven cells to spend. And each of these decks, it costs two cells to take the bottom card. And then we okay. resolve that bottom card. So what do you want? Mm. This, is, this, is, this is all you for decision for this. So the cards on here, because I did look at them when I was leaving, but I don't remember what they do. Mm. Are they for the mutation board? Or what are they? Um some of the things are for go on the mutation board to be like permanent effects for future runs. Some of them mm -hmm. are um, new cards that you can add to a deck. Gotcha. 
Um, so I can take in consideration that I do poison, I do zero ranged attacks. Um, hmm. I don't know what they do, so I guess we just, uh, yeah. we like to do damage, so brutality seems good. <laughs> But that not necessarily that's what that means. He's Briz says be brutal. Okay, we'll do our first one on brutal. Okay. We do have seven, cool. so like we could do one from each set. Sure. We'll see what Grizz says. It's up to him. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna spend two on the first card of brutality. Okay. We take the bottom one. I hopefully I got him in the right order. Bottom card. Bottom card. And we resolve it. It should say Says. one on the bottom right, in the on that side. It yeah. does. It does. Okay, you're good. Huh. Equipment, level one. Draw the draw the top card of the equipment deck and equipped or beheaded with it. Place this card on the start of game section of the mutation board. Don't mind if I do. So we start with loot. So now we permanently will anytime you play yes. the game, you will now at the start of the run draw an equipment card so if you see what i'm doing here's our mutation board oh no and it's gonna get worse over time um that goes in here it's got a nice little sleeve spot for it and that's gonna stay there for a really long time yep okay i'm gonna start looking for a 3d print of this <laughs> i'm already ripping it oh no yeah um okay um, we have five left. Um, Grizz, what do you think? Now, I do know that once you get to a certain extent, this gets more expensive. True. I do know that. So I'd imagine you buy it, flip it over, and then it costs, I don't know, we'll come across it. Grizz, I'm leaving it up to you. <clears throat> he says, oh my God, this is so cool. I'm like yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I know what the the first cards are in each of the things. Yeah, he went brutal. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. Okay, he says all about tactics. Let's go tactics. Two. Okay. I'm I'm assuming it's probably another start of start of game. You can try got number one there. Oh, ooh, it's not treasure place two. Um, teeth in the group's bag. So you start with two teeth. I mean, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Especially as a, as a poison. I mean, that's two damage. Why did I unfold this? So I'm just going to make it worse. <laughs> yeah. We got that out of the way. Let's put that in slot B. Yeah, someone's going to have to make me a 3D print. I don't care what color it is. But let's just put this over here. Okay. Grizz, we got three left. So you can buy one more or you could dump them in the well. I don't maybe advise doing the well, but. <laughs> Not for three worth, at least. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. the, maybe the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got two more. We could either unlock a start of, assuming start a game survival, or we could do any of the other ones. Jeopardy theme. Do, 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 Just put do, some gorilla do, tape on the back. Do, yeah, more tactics. All right. No, it's it's weird because like it's the it's the top layer that's coming off, and it did it on one of my hero boards too. Like, this is where the graphic meets the cutoff, and it started to peel up right on the discard. Oh no. Yeah. Um, okay, more tactics. Two in the tactics. Next bottom. Here we go. Let's make sure it's number two. Number two. Upgrade deck. When this card is revealed, take the next two beheaded cards. Use which beheaded to give them to. They are immediately added to their combat decks. So that is where. Uh, so it's the next two cards in oh, that. Oh, it's the next two. Yeah, gotcha. in that deck. Gotcha. One, two. Choose which beheaded to give them to. So we so, have strike. Yeah. 
Carry on. And we have distraction. Um, strike does a utility. So, you know, if we think poison, he's going to gain a tooth. On his round two, he's going to do, do damage, which ignores shield. Uh, distraction. It will loot turn one and then do two damage on round three. This one comes with a survival deck check. Um, so it says... And, and reminder two, that that two damage on the bottom of that is one damage to two different enemies. Yes, well, one and one. Yep. Uh, choose which beheaded to give them to. They are immediately added to their combat deck. So it's kind of funny. That card makes it sound like when you get them, you immediately say, this card's going in this person's deck. It's there forever. The yes. instructions say that is not the case. They say you have now unlocked these cards and you can put them in anybody's deck. So when you start a run, mm. what, what I do is I keep all of those cards separate from my character cards. And then sure. when I am about to start a run, I choose which cards I want to add into my deck for that character. They, they get both of them, right? Uh, any number of cards. There are no, there's nothing in the rules about deck limits, gotcha. deck size. <laughs> um, yeah. It also. Oh, so really? I can put it in like the beheaded deck, but then if we ever play again, I got to, every time I got to go through these and potentially switch them out to another beheaded. Where like okay. if, if you if you like the poisoned and you want to keep playing the poison, then you can just keep them with those cards. You'll probably okay. run into some that are like, eh, this doesn't really jive with the rest of what's going on, so I don't want to add this card. Sure, makes when, sense. When you play solo mode and you use the serenade sword dude, mm -hmm. um, you can add these cards to that deck as well. Oh nice. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I think I like the poison, but I, I think I'll, I'll probably end up switching it. It's not that we're locked into anything, but um, I would like to play another game with a different one that I wholeheartedly would like to try. Yeah. Um, okay, that leaves us with one, so we will not save it and throw it in the well. So we yep. can save it. <clears throat> Make sure it's number two. Hey, yeah. Bandit rock. Bonk. Ouch. Hey, what's going on up there? There's someone down there. Oh, I know where this is headed. Get it? Headed? <laughs> <laughs> Cracked myself up. Yep. All right. That's it. That's GG's. Yep. So now on the next run, whether you play you by you yourself or with somebody else, you I will... could potentially do one more if you want to do one. Um, now that it's now that it's pushed him in, I yeah. do have to work tomorrow. <laughs> um, Gross. Yeah. So, so sorry. So you're you're right. Not... I just unlocked stuff, and now I'm just like, <laughs> yep. Chris, so... go buy the game. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, oh man, now now you start with two money, so like shop is a little more viable, and and you yeah. start with an equipment. You may even draw into that new one that you just. Just unlocked. Mm. Oh, it's right. The blueprints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This game just got real good. Yeah. When we had played the first, like the first two runs, when I played with my other buddy, he was like, "Well, I mean, it's it's snappy combat, but I don't, I don't feel like we can just do well because we're used to the games of like, all right, if I am skilled enough in my playing." then I can just beat it the first time through. Right, right. And it's like, yeah, this game isn't designed like that. Like you, no, not at all. You almost inevitably... Well, you, you are supposed to lose, like, especially toward the beginning. Right. And then, yeah. So when I've been playing solo and I'm unlocking stuff, I'm, like, texting him, like, oh, my God, check out this cool thing that we just unlocked. <laughs> and he goes, so it sounds like the next time we play, it's going to be way more fun for me. Sure. Yes. Because there will be all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Uh, all right well that's going to do it for this youtube video that's what that's a long one three hours long two runs in yeah nobody's going to watch it all the way to the end maybe if no. they do thank you so much super appreciate you if not then you're not seeing this so it doesn't matter um <laughs> all right so that's it for the youtube thank you everybody for watching and we'll catch you next time bye youtube